You know, you guys uh, reached out to me a while back and, you know, time me to just... I know, this has been so. like months in the back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I think the first time you had a gig that came up, and then yeah. the second time he had a gig that came <laughs> up, which ended up being a story... So I think right. that gig got delayed and then through some happenstance or whatever, we ended up having uh so you know Skippy and uh I do Floyd. Yeah, Floyd, Floyd yeah. yep. Sarah Lynn <laughs> yeah. too. Uh yeah, I just just listening to theirs on the way up here. It's oh, like, nice, oh, yeah, nice. okay. Yeah, we shouted you out on that. Yeah, I, know. I appreciate it, man. I do yeah. I appreciate it. I was good. like, man, if he ever does hear this, it's gonna be <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, Dude, one of those things that I just got totally fucked. fucked it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like what the hell? What's going yeah, on? They here? came in on a whim that day, so yeah. No, that was Pull uh, that mic all the way up to you. That was really cool, yeah. uh, listening to them guys and uh Yeah, they're hilarious. You know, uh, <laughs> They did a great job. I mean that uh, that show was really off the hook. It was uh, dude, we had, Jesus uh, we had a blast. I got to be a real, <laughs> real, real long <laughs> real day. Real shit really. up. <laughs> we were fucked up, Hell man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were cutting pretty loose that night, and yeah. that was our first. Uh, we had a six banger going on that night too. Oh, Usually no it's shit. like three to four max, but yeah, right. we had rolling six deep in that. That was that was an intense. That evening. was uh, yeah, it was uh, interesting to listen to. It's like oh, over. <laughs> I'm like, oh, who's that? okay? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Normally, I, we kind of got a rule. It's like no more than four people right. on the pod, but it just kind of went down that night. Yeah, so. no. <laughs> the 20 minutes of it that were audible were great, I felt right. like. You know, the rest of it was kind of incoherent babbling and screaming over top right. of one another. But. <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, those guys are awesome. I love when they come out this way. And, uh, you know, we got a bunch of shows coming up here in Muskegon, Pincrest, uh, Naughties, a uh, couple other places I'm working on, too. So nice. it's man. been uh it's been an interesting go. I've been doing it for about four or five years, but okay. uh, sweet. really getting into the hosting and promoting and getting people out from the west side and down south and stuff. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, you're kind of crushing it there. Yeah. It's, uh, watching the shows and shit. Yeah, there's a couple other guys that, you know, it used to be where you'd work against each other. It's like, all right, let's try and figure this out so that we can all have our own shows and, and yeah. still be uh, not saturating the market sometimes. You right, know? right, right, right. right. You know, Muskegon Fruitport's pretty small, but uh, yeah. they like their comedy, that's for sure. So you're drinking Bush Light out of a Wesco cup. Are you from Fruitport? <laughs> I am not actually <laughs> from Fruitport. I'm from Muskegon. I went to Mona Shores. Uh, okay. But I've lived in Fruitport, Fruitport for about 10 years. So. Hey, yeah, well, you're pure Fruitport now, oh, drinking Bush Light out of a right. Wesco cup. I know, so man. That well, was not Mona Shores <laughs> material. Bro. This is a distinctly Fruitport move. Right. About yeah. it. So we, we both uh, went to Fruitport in high school back in the day. Okay. So. We know the uh, Bush Light and the Wesco kelp yep. well, my friend. <laughs> yeah, you know. I uh, like. I was always a big Bush Light guy back in the day because in high school it's all about quantity, right? Like right. it's tough enough to score beer, so I'm getting thirty of those motherfuckers <laughs> a right. pop for sure. And I had this beer helmet that I used to rock, right? And I left that thing in the back of the Sunbird back in the day. It was always oh, I remember the beer helmet. Yeah. And then one day I pulled it out, dude, and it was just festering with disgusting mold. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I took a swing without realizing. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. yeah, it's like a bad line at Pincrest. You know, if you get the draft lines, oh, there, yeah, it's been sitting yeah. there for too long. But yeah, <laughs> no. man, I haven't been in Pincrest in like 20 years or something like that. Wow. It's been a fucking long ass time, bro. Yeah, they sold it. And then, you know, Amy and Tom put a lot of money into that place. And they really uh, it's it's fun. It's a good time. It's like, yeah. uh, well, it's dope. They're doing comedy and shit. There. Yeah. I mean, that, that shit wasn't there when we were there. Hell no. You had the know? pool table. Yeah. That was it. Maybe yeah, a steak, yeah. steak dinner on a Friday. Right. <laughs> yeah, they redid all the inside of that, too. Right. They did. Yeah. They did, they did, and uh, bowling season just started, so uh, hang out there a lot on Wednesdays for ladies' night, just to hang okay. out and check that shit out, but nice. yeah, it's fun, you know. Um, like, what year did you graduate? Like, how, how old are you? I'm 34, I graduated okay. in 07. Gotcha, so, so just a little bit younger than, yeah. than our old asses. <laughs> <laughs> right? But no, it's, uh, like I said, I'm... Uh, I'm really happy with everything that's going on with, with comedy in Muskegon, it's... Uh, this just really seems to be taken off. They finally opened up the Back Alley Comedy Club in, uh, at Sherman Bowling Alley. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. They'll be bringing in some bigger names in there. So um, Yeah, well, they had shit. I mean, like, we saw, like, fucking Paulie Shore was playing there. Yeah, uh, Paulie Shore was there. Akash, Akash was there. Yeah, yeah. The yeah we, so I, I've already talked about this a little bit on here, but we used to play shows there back in the day, rock shows. Okay. And it was just called The Annex back then yep. or whatever the fuck. And, yeah, we used to rent that out. We used to rent out like that and, like, the Sherman Eagles and, Sherman like, Eagles, those yep. kind of places. That was where we fucking played shows way back in the day. I mean, way back in the day yeah. now, but, yeah. Was there hard, did you hard, do 
ever do Harbor Theater down there? So I personally never played there, but my brothers' bands and uh, Rick Beam and all those guys that have been on the pod. Okay. Nate Cohn, those guys from Mustard Plug and whatever, like they did tons of shows. Oh, there. yeah. I just happened to not be in those bands at that time right. personally. But uh, so they did tons of shows there, yeah. yeah Didn't make a, the cut. <laughs> not pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Sure. Yeah, there's uh, just, like I said, a bunch of things coming up and. Uh, the Froenthal in December. Uh, Benny Blue's coming in there. I'm going to open up for him. So he's from L.A. Nice. Actually from Muskegon as well. I love the Froenthal, man. Yeah. I haven't been in there since the Christmas tree, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We used to go in there like fucking with us like in way back in high school. There used to be like band. I was a fucking band nerd, and there was like fucking orchestra shows all the time. Yeah. And, like the Halloween show and all this right. kind of shit. And uh, I was in some kind of weird art. I don't even know what the fuck it was. It was some kind of like local school art competition kind of thing <laughs> where like each art department would nominate somebody and y'all went in there and fucking like lined up like a showcase kind of yes, thing yes that's yeah. what it was yeah. thank you yep. that's exactly showcase, what they called yeah. it it was just, yep. you remember those yeah yeah well, i was part of that and that was uh, i remember just more of being a spectator there. than yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. i had a t-shirt i wonder if i still got that t-shirt i gotta find that t-shirt for that that's that a pretty, the damn yankees hat <laughs> <right>. <laughs> that's a pretty big venue isn't it like it's, sitting it's been a lot of years yeah, since I i've been think in there the, i don't know how many people he's doing the smaller room so i think it's 400 okay something like that's that so, yeah, yeah it's, it's good size it's uh it'll be the biggest crowd i've ever in, per, performed in front oh, of yeah. so no, it's nice. i mean you can't get 400 people in at pincrest yeah Right. No, no, you can't even fit that <laughs> many know? people in there. So you've been doing comedy then for five years, something like that? Yeah, saying? five years, four years. Yeah. Uh, well, I think a lot of the scene, know. And, you know, I'm hearing things, man. I mean, you know, Florida and Skippy and shit, you're doing a lot to promote yeah. that scene, dude. So cheers so, to you, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, it's fucking keep her going. That's what we want to keep doing. So. Nice, nice. Well, yeah, you know, a little bit about me. Uh, yeah, like I said, no, I we don't want to hear about you. And shit no, and, <laughs> but, you know? <laughs> In fact, we're done. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, that was a good, good 15-minute podcast. Um, no, it's just, uh, like I said, I uh, I have a normal job. I, obviously, this isn't paying the bills. Sure. But, um, Same. Yeah. <laughs> no. The podcast ain't fucking paying the rent. <laughs> That's right. So I'm getting paid for this, right? Or is this just a kind of self-promotion? Yeah, no, thing? we got you a dirty 30 <laughs> bush light. <laughs> <and the fucking, laughs> in a Wesco cup. All in right, a Wesco cool. cup. That's right. It's on my fucking rider right there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, the rider is just dirty. It just says dirty 30 and a Wesco cup. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, yeah. No, so I've got a six year old daughter who's a little brat sometimes. But yeah, so that's, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. You said you just bought this house and stuff a year yeah, ago. About a year ago in here, yeah. yeah. We're in, I'm in my house for two years. Uh, cool. Just got divorced, so that was a good idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> in Fruitport? Uh, yeah, just in Fruitport. Yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Right on. Yeah. Fruit port, baby. Yeah. You don't want to dox yourself necessarily. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. We got a lot to. of listeners. Some of them are crazier than Tens of thousands of fans across the world. Man. <laughs> it's finalized. It's done with. I owe seventy five thousand dollars. It'll be oh. fun. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, airing some dirty laundry out here, but. Yeah, I thought the settlement was just a dirty thirty. It was like a Wesco cup. That's an 18 pack. I can't get the 30. Yet. I'm yeah, out yeah, yeah. We gotta split it. We're splitting it down the middle. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, man. So, yeah, there's uh, like I said, there's a lot of things going on in Muskegon. And there's some great comics that are coming up in Grand Rapids that just the people love them down there. Hell yeah, Cam Honeyager, he does a great job. And then there's you know. I'm still doing comedy, but it's mostly just hosting. I do 15 minute sets up front, and then nice. let those guys roll. And you know, none of my show. I don't charge anything. I've figured that out. If you charge, nobody comes. You know, especially for some small town stuff like that. Yeah, and we, we we end up doing better just with tips at the end of the night. So, right, right, right. You know, that's nice. Hell yeah. So how yeah. do you get hooked up with all these people? Like, what's the the game plan for putting asses in the seats and finding the comics and everything? Basically, word of mouth. I okay. mean. We start a show, like I typically start a show on a Friday or whatever, and it's like I got to have three months up front. Like you're committed to this for three months. Once a month show, maybe twice a month show, and then once we start getting the word out there, Facebook, that kind of stuff. Save the Lakes Mall Facebook page. You can check out all the dates that we'll be having shows in Muskegon around there and where I'm at. Um, what is it? Save the Lakes? What? Save the Lakes Mall. 
Oh, okay. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, let it die. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It, the, the best place to smoke inside is the Save the Lake Small. That's the old Lake Small. Sure. Yep. Talking about a little easy. Talking about that fucking. Easy, yep. Yeah, that little easy, baby. Ooh, wee. I still got <laughs> diarrhea from the little easy, man. <laughs> The only place still in the mall, Spencer's and Little Easy. Is that? Is it? It's about it, man. It dicks. Yeah, we you drove know? by there uh, <laughs> randomly. Fucking, uh, we were trying to get dinner. This is fucking super random. We ended up at Red Lobster, a lot of goddamn places in the mall parking lot, <laughs> and we were just like, "Holy shit!" I mean, it's been a ghost town for a minute. Oh yeah, there, damn, but I was no. like, "Damn!" Yeah, <laughs> that was a go-to back in the day, man. Our yep. move, we used to go chill out in the parking lot. We get a bottle of Blue Label Pop Off, just sit out vodka. there, and pass that shit yep. around. You can't He's gone shit. and go stumble around the mall for yep. a couple hours. Blue it's label pop off. Great Man. fun, baby. Yeah, we, kept, we kept it pretty classy. That was yeah. some yeah. nasty ass <laughs> shit. That fruit, fruit port blood cake. Makes me yeah. so we just thinking about it. I can taste the vomit in my fucking throat right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's some nasty shit right there. Yeah, for but, real. You know, that's what we had. That's what that's I was what drinking. Was, yeah, 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 100 yeah. proof. Don't give me that red label shit. Yeah, fuck that. I ain't got time for that, dude. <laughs> yeah. Keep some mosquitoes off you, too. I was fond of Simultaneously. <laughs> Peel the paint off your car, too. You could let your fire with they, you know, they got your campfire, right. you're fucking taking the first layer of the fucking stomach lining off, dude, just burning these oh, socks. Jesus like Christ, that shit was so terrible. Harsh, so. That was nasty stuff. But yeah, no, that's, it's a satire page and that's kind of what I, you know, go into. And it all started from a girl I got into an argument with online in high school. And she started working at the mall, so I just kind of like leaned into it real hard. <laughs> <laughs> we won't name names. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. She probably named names. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. we're naming names. Fuck it. <laughs> Four kids, five baby daddies. You know who you are. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'm no. one of them. <laughs> That's the other one. So I mean, you know, she's seen anybody. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Shout out whoever you are. Just listen to the pod. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> No, we've uh, we've settled that uh, little dispute. We're good now, but yeah. yeah, I think she got fired from there, so she's not giving me shit anymore. But yeah, no, it's uh, like I said, I'm just uh, out there trying to keep people in the seats. Uh, like I said, you know, I usually have them commit for three months, and the first show's either really good or really bad, and then you know we start building from there. I'm uh, gotcha. do a lot of the private clubs around there too. The Eagles, yeah. Uh, Polish Union's coming up next month. That's going to be a big one for us. Uh, I think uh got three guys from Chicago coming up. Uh, Brian LeRae. Nice, nice. Oh, who else? Pat Bulldock and uh, Ricardo. I can't remember his last name. He <laughs> anyways, but, you know, yeah. Ricardo. <laughs> do you know Adam Deggy? I do, Ad, I, I do yeah. know Adam. Yes. I just caught Adam. Uh, he was headlining Dr. Grimm's over yep. here. That was a fun show. Yeah, I wanted to come out to that, but it's like, you know, you just don't have fucking time anymore. I'm, yeah. Every weekend I don't have my daughter. It's like I'm doing this kind of shit. Right, so. right, right. Yeah. But, yeah, Adam's a good dude. He fucking Adam's that great. Show. Yeah. A little bit too much, too expensive for me though. It seems like I try to get them on. It's like, ah, no, I got, I got way bigger oh, opportunities than doing pin, pin grass <laughs> right now. Talk no, about Adam, Adam getting Adam. big time by Deggy. Deggy, no, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Adam's fucking uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious, man. great man. Yeah, uh, yeah. All these guys in Grand Rapids, uh, Joe Elder, those guys just fucking tear it up when they come into a small town like nice. that and just yeah it seems you know. like the scene's kind of popping around it here, is dude. it is yeah we were heading over to a uh, uh creston brewery they were doing shows up top there we saw uh kevin, kevin Nealon. Nealon. oh really and fucking just hilarious you know i mean obviously he's a you know major right. comedian and uh fucking great and then uh like the week later we're in there we're having dinner and i'm talking to the waiter dude and uh we, we're talking about the comedy show or whatever and he's like i do comedy too or whatever and he's telling us like they're shutting it down they're shutting down the fucking comedy thing and we're like what the fuck and then uh but i guess it's going again i haven't been back since but it sounds like it's uh yeah they got it going back up it sounds like i don't know uh there's some issues with that in the yeah. comedy world about some things that were said and not uh, not get, people not getting money so that was, oh, uh, was a bit uh, of an issue that'd be problematic yeah, yeah I, he was kind of saying it was some kind of contract dispute or something yeah. I don't, whatever the fuck dude I don't know but it was like because like it's not far from where we are right now okay. and it was even closer to where I used to live where All we right. started the podcast was like literally around the corner in Creston the Creston Brewery was okay. like right there so we were like fuck yeah this fucking bomb ass comedy right. going on catch Kevin Nealon on a weeknight you right. know like 
for was, 10 bucks you can't yeah, beat that yeah, shit you know, you know? Getting hammered and fucking dude he was hilarious man i mean i'm a fan of kevin nealon anyway i got into that he's got his i guess you call it a podcast or whatever it's hiking with kevin you ever see that i have not seen that one <laughs> he just hikes in the hollywood hills or whatever with people but does it as an interview show and he's so nice. funny man but, yeah I'd, i love getting into that stuff you know just started listening to you guys too it's like oh my god this is shit is pretty good yeah well, we're way funnier than kevin nealon dude i mean there's you know there's us the kevin nealon's good but then we're right. you know yep. we're one step yeah creme that. de la creme yeah. here yeah. Danger, of course, my friend. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no it's bringing the funny on a weekly basis exactly baby. you ever uh try to get into dr grins or anything you ever fucking playing there yet? i've done a, i think i've done one open mic there i've you okay. know I'm still getting my feet wet, getting to know people, networking and shit with with other other comics, and you know that's like Skippy and Floyd. They're great to have over here because I can go over there and do their shows. And, yeah. But uh, no, I haven't gotten in there yet. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm really just trying to focus in the Muskegon area. I mm-hmm. like coming out here doing open mics at River City Saloon, that kind of stuff. But you know, it's hard during the week for me just because. I do yeah. have to, to make sure I yeah. get Dude, to yeah, work yeah. on time yeah. because seventy five thousand dollars in debt. I got to well, pay her some way. <laughs> it seems like you're having a lot of success though with the hosting and the actual promotion and right. the show, which that's a whole other skill set and everything. I mean, that's a very valuable. It, it, the most valuable part of a scene. I mean, it's the right. same thing in the rock scene where when we used to do that and everything. So. Yeah, it, it is, and you know, it helps me with my comedy and putting my sets together. You know, I could do a different five minute set every time if i need to right i can piece it together and every once in a while i'll have somebody come in and host like ben bradshaw or somebody Mm -hmm. and then i'll do a 20 minute set or half hour and just kind of put everything together just working up towards something bigger but uh for for right now just sticking in the muskegon area uh do some stuff out of town uh the venue in cadillac that's been uh really good to me they've done some pretty big shows out there oh that's cool um kevin uh kevin, kevin no not kevin <laughs> um i can't remember his name now it's kevin he just passed away unfortunately but oh. uh he's a big comic in detroit and always had me on his shows when he'd be around oh around on the west side but okay um We're pouring out for kevin yeah for R. sure R. he's good good dude and uh yeah it's just like i said you know we go out there and you know it's we're here there there to have fun you know the first time i met floyd he come down with skippy he wasn't on the show i'm like he just drove from i think he's talking about that yeah Yeah. yeah. i'll throw you on for five uh, ten minutes you know that don't make it's fun it doesn't matter you know let's do it they're here to laugh you know love that but uh yeah yeah, every once in a while you know i've done some i've had some pretty shitty gigs uh oh no one the night spot in lakewood club i don't know if you're familiar with that just north of uh muskegon it's uh a lot of trailers. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. I turned the NASCAR off. They were very upset about oh, that. You oh, know? yeah. You they didn't roll in with the NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah, baby. You rolled in with that dirty 30 of Bush in a Western <laughs> car. You thought if you were just fucking I'm, in like Flynn on that shit, dude. I don't class it up a little bit, but, you know. <laughs> a box, a nice box yep. of wine. You know? Turn the Creed jukebox off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I get all pissed <laughs> off about that shit. The Nickelback raging. That's got to be a nightmare <laughs> scenario in some of those places man you get a bunch of drunk hillbillies in there trying to get everybody to shut the fuck up but what's it like trying to shut people up and actually it's tough you know especially when one of them's my uncle (laughs) i mean seriously it's like oh shit he's been he's on one now it's sunday at five o'clock we've been drinking since 11 i'm trying to tell jokes here god damn it you know but yeah that is tough but you know as a host it's like all right come on guys yeah. We're all here. These guys went from a long ways away. And most of the time, they they either calm down or the comics, you know, they take care of the situation. Right. Quick. Just yeah. start you roasting know? people and yeah, shit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. that's most, you know, Deggy's great with that, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just the show I caught him at, he didn't just, have to do any no, of that kind of crowd no. work, you know. But he said uh, uh, the show after, <laughs> we were at the early show, like 8 o'clock show okay. or whatever, and he said the show after, he was talking about it online, and he, he kind of sounded like it was a shit show, and he just yeah. he spent the whole time just fucking doing crowd work and <laughs> roasting people and shit. It sounded like it was quite the shit show. Yeah, it, it, it's a good, <laughs> yeah. Some of those shows just turn out to be some of the best shows you have. Yeah, right? And then yeah. the other times it's like, oh, it's a good crowd, and then... Uh, Right. It's just deadpan. I know nobody's got you know they're just crickets and yeah yeah you know yeah I think that's probably one of the big uh, 
I don't know, maybe differences between comedy and music is you kind of like, with like music, you kind of got this like rehearsed thing and you're just kind of going to do that no matter what. Right. You know, but like with comedy, it's kind of like the room is going to like, you really got to read the room. Exactly. (laughs) You know. You know, I've had a couple comics that gone up, and I'm like, man, you did not read that room very well. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no. You really got to be in it like that. I think that's probably one of the biggest skill sets of being a comic is just right. being able to, like, be like, well, I'm going to war tonight, or, you know, or I'm going to be able to actually tell my material. Exactly. Or, yeah. And, and, you know, I, the first place I ever did stand-up at was actually fucking Little Brown Jug. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Pope's Shout Pub. out LBJ, yeah, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they used to do rock shows there, they man. They did. They had I, some that, good ones That was another place that I ever played, but many of my friends' bands were in the metal scene were uh, playing there, like Woody, you know, his, oh, yeah, his yeah. bands, and uh, uh, the guys from fucking, jeez, uh, I'm fucking spacing on their name because I'm drunk, but uh, fucking... Two-headed chain. Woody's band. Yeah, yeah. Two, two-headed chain. Well, yep. that, that was Woody's band. That's okay. the guy we're talking about. Uh, and uh, fucking hey, Ross Wolf and Damien. Oh, uh, oh Kill Pop. Tomorrow. Kill Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kill Tomorrow. Yeah, they played there a lot and shit. But yeah, yeah. We, never, we never really played there. We were a little too not meathead metal to play there. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was a rough crowd, dude. Yeah, it was a yeah, rough yeah, crowd, LBJ man. Was, I was trying to stay out of there. <laughs> yeah. No, it was good for $2 pitchers every once in a while, but... It's yeah. like a smoked meat place. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Just still all there. I'm like, you guys should still be doing shows. Like, I'll come play the meat house, dude. Like, let's do some brats yeah. and some metal. Talking know? in case uh, meats, talking about <laughs> metal on the side. That's a game yeah. money. It really is, sure. dude. That's, yeah. You gotta have Smokehouse it, and comedy event. Got yourself well, that, a kielbasa, uh, and a lackluster <laughs> local act. Gotta have it. Well, that's what it was when they first started. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna have a restaurant and stuff." I'm like, eh, "Yeah, you know, the fruit board don't need another restaurant. We got too many already." You know? And yeah. The bur- just, there's Burger Crest and, and Burger. And that's yeah. it. <laughs> Burger Crest, the Village Inn, and yeah, that's it. That's You're it. right. There's that's really enough. only like two to three bars down there. I'm surprised they got rid of that. You know, it's like there aren't a ton of places to drink, baby. No, you got Ye Old Tavern. Yeah, that's, uh, Ye Old still going around. Right? I thought maybe it got too. shut down or something. Maybe that was just nah, COVID or whatever. Yeah, they, maybe it was closed for a minute. They were closed for a little bit, but, yeah. you know, so was Pincrest, but yeah. that's because all the old people, they didn't give a shit. Right, like, right, right. I got a drink at 4 o'clock every day, so we're going out there. Fucking know? ye old tavern, man. <laughs> Jesus, I haven't been in there in a long-ass time, too. Yeah. We used Dominant, to go in there get Dominant chili dogs. Dominant Coney dogs, Yeah, yeah, baby. we used to go in there get fucking chili, chili dogs, dogs and beer yep. or Superior chili dogs, mm-hmm. son. Oh yeah, fruit pork. Woo. Yeah, that was, uh, that was the, some uh, crazy nights down there. The fucking uh, the video store next to it there that was the old video store. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Laporta's yeah. little place yeah. down there. What yeah. the hell is that place called? I don't know. It's gone now. Yeah, long gone. They took they were, uh, <laughs> right when they were going out of business, I went in there and cleared them out of Nintendo games. That's right. Yeah, exactly. and original boxes. I was like, fuck yes, you gotta have it. Scored some American Gladiators in the original box. Oh, for my, real? I didn't know they even had a game. Yeah, I didn't think oh, they had yeah. anything in there. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. No, um, right. Who is, like, your influences, like, uh, comedy-wise? I mean, it's a... Tom Segura, yeah, has got to be my favorite Tommy comedy. Bond. You know, he's fun, and I saw even his comedies, I just like him as a person. He just comes he's off as he seems, seems like he's just uh, dude, pretty yeah. much down to earth. And, yeah, yeah. You know, his podcasts just fucking. I your mom's the, house. Your or, mom's yeah. house. Uh, that one I never bears. listened to. That one, the two bears on I catch. <laughs> yeah. But. I've never caught an episode of your mom's house. It's a little too extreme for me to be honest with you. It's pretty. It's yeah. pretty bad. Little, yeah. you know, sometimes yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm not well, super you know. into all that. You know, it's fine. I'm not like whatever. It's just like there's so much shit to listen to. I don't right. really catch that one. No, uh, Tom Segura, Bill Burr. Yeah, uh, right, right. You know, I, I, those are two of my favorites too. I've seen both of them live. Those are the major ones, but you know, there's a lot of really good. Dan Britton from Detroit. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. No. He's done a couple of my play, my shows. He is awesome. He's just real original not too crazy vulgar just really yeah. just a really good writer a really mm-hmm. good comic uh, you know that. and you know there's some people coming up uh just in grand rapids like i said joe elder I, you know he he was on uh my first show that i did and you know kind of took me under his wing a little bit and just said hey keep sticking with it and you know so yeah i guess, I guess there's uh there's a lot of guys that are coming up that i look up to as you know hey right. this is where i want to be mm-hmm. in two years three years where they're where they're opening up for people 100 miles same thing he does a lot 
did a lot for me and still comes up and does my shows and stuff. So that's, that's, that's gotta be yeah. super helpful to have guys kind of guiding. Yeah. Cause I gotta imagine right. that's a wild world to try and get into it and kind of figure out the lay of the land and everything. Yeah. And you know, starting at 30 and 29 or whatever, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball yeah. on this, but, uh, yeah, hey man, there's been dudes it. who fucking classic comics you know? and started at 40, right? you know, Rodney Dangerfield was selling fucking siding at 45, right? you know? Yeah, that's the just funniest uh, man that's ever lived. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. so, I mean, like it's just like <laughs> yeah. So I've been yeah. Those guys are awesome. Um, you know, like I said, I listen to a lot of podcasts, whether it be comedy or just you know. I'm 34. I'm a dad. I listen to a lot of World War Two shit. You yeah. know, <laughs> why'd you catch uh, Shane Gillis's new special? I have not like, yet. Oh well, I won't give it away for you. But what you're just saying right there is like, if you're in your mid 30s and you're really into World War Two, you're a Republican in the making. He's doing this whole. I got this whole bit of like, you may not be now, but it's coming. He's like, he's like, you think your dad just woke up one day and was like, I'm gonna be a miserable asshole? Oh no, it's like, dude. Uh, early fucking, onset. Or, early onset yeah, Republican, yeah. dude. Yeah. You're watching. War documentaires? It's coming, man. Uh, oh, yeah, I finally too far. watched that the other day. Dude, I was <laughs> yeah. fucking die. He's a dude, funny, funny Shane cat, Shane Gillis' man. new new special, honest to God, I'm not fucking. It is one of the funniest specials I've ever seen. Yeah, dude. a lot of you know how specials are like. It's not the same as being there, right? You know, like uh, Tommy's new special. Like I saw Tom Segura live. Like it was maybe six, five, six years ago, maybe or something. And uh, I guess it would have been like his last cycle or whatever, right? Um, and it was one of the hardest I've ever laughed. You know what I mean? Yep. And like the the new special though, like it's just it's fine, it's funny, it's you know, and I'm not hating or nothing, but right. like it's different when it's on TV, is all. You know? Exactly. And but dude, like fucking Shane's, and I don't know if it's just because he's like coming up and he's got like his you know, he's young and hungry kind of thing right. or something still, or like God damn, dude! It was it's fucking funny. I don't want to oversell it, which I just did, but like it, it's fucking classic, man. Great special, yeah, one of the best ones I've seen in a while. I like watching Shane on any podcast too, because he's just he's funny. I mean, he's, yeah. he doesn't have to, you know. He just he's right there, just with the other guys too. Well, kind know? of original too. He's a right. little bit different, and it is a little, he does come from a more like kind of like conservative thing where and he does it almost just to break balls because most right. people are like more liberal in the comedy world or whatever so he kind of knows that he has this angle and right. he has this dominant trump impression <laughs> that he exactly. can break yeah, out he and bring shit. that out anytime it's so funny it man. is a staggeringly good impression of trump yes, dude it is ridiculous so fucking it's spot ridiculous. on the mannerisms the voice he writes so goddamn and good. it's like the only impression he's got it's yeah. just yeah. fucking perfect <laughs> it's the only one you need to be clear right. yeah. it's yeah. just yeah. It's a lot of material lot down, yeah, especially yeah. with the angle that he's working at. That's, that's yeah. uh, it's it really is fucking good. perfect. But uh, yeah, no, I, that's those are the ones that really stick out to me. Did like you I see said, Bill Burr at uh, Van Andel? Did you come out to that? I did was, not. No. Yeah, I, I went. It was like. <laughs> I talked about it on here after the fact, but it was, uh, you know, it was just like in the stadium. It's kind of like, it's not as great, you know, like, right. I, I, don't get me wrong. It's fucking hilarious, but it's like, it takes so long to get in. And we had this whole fucking snafu with the phones and everything. And it's like, there's no intimacy right. in the stadium and stuff. But I, Bill Burr might be the funniest man alive right now possibly yeah. you know like all things considered you know and he's yeah he's <laughs> he digs himself a hole and it is so fun yeah, to watch man, him just watch him that. come out of it dude yeah he does not give a shit no dude. and yeah. if he bombs he bombs you know yeah you know it's like He's just got that fucking angry Boston man thing yep. that he can just fucking like just, just get pissed off right <laughs> it's just fucking so funny yeah he's the best man yeah I love that dude. Yes, and like all of them, all they do is write, and it's crazy how much writing you do to get a five minute set. Yeah, you know, and where you gotta put things. It's like okay, and that's why I like hosting. I can change that stuff around a lot and see where this fits and this doesn't. You know, and uh, you know, I try to film everything like they say, but it doesn't work out all the time. You know, it's yeah. like I'm not watching. I can't stand the sound of my own fucking voice. You know, well, welcome like, to podcasting. Yeah, I know, man. I'm like, I can hear myself in these right earheads. Oh my god, like this shit. How much does doing that like change just kind of the day to day? Like, are you always walking around just thinking about the funny angle of the shit as life's going on, or is it just kind of as stuff comes to you, or how do like you go about writing? So I 
do a lot of writing at work. I work for uh, Scrapyard in Muskegon, so I see a lot of uh, fun things and interesting uh, people that come into uh, a lot of open wounds. <laughs> um, <laughs> the pad nose? That kind of Scrapyard? Well, it's not. Recycling? Let's not say names. Okay, but, no, right, yeah. no worries. No worries yeah, yeah, it works. It, it brought, yeah, it's, it's pad nose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's pad nose. But uh, no, so I've got a little bit of downtime in the office, and if I. You know, I'm not sitting there constantly writing, but if I something jumps into my head sure. while I'm while I'm a little yeah, slow, yeah. I jot it down oh, yeah. and work on it later. Uh, I've written many a lyric at work, <laughs> and many, many a stupid rhyme, many jokes too, for that matter. No, right? Yeah. And then I'll get together with a couple other comics here in Grand Rapids, and we'll sit and do a writing thing every once in a while. Yeah, that, that's that, got to be helpful. That helps a lot, yeah. you know, just Plus because it's there's a, fun. It's fun, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's fun. It's uh, you know, you you get a different angle. You get to hear some other things and like you know okay you can do this or you can move it this way or whatever you right, know? so that works right, out right. good but yeah i'm constantly writing i mean even if it's just sending a text message to somebody that yeah, i thought of yeah. a joke i don't have my notebook on me it's like right all right i don't i don't get that joke but i'm like it's There's not meant there. for you to get uh-huh. to it yet but yeah. i gotta remember uh, yeah, this yeah, before yeah. i fucking forget that's so. the glory of having a phone on you i know you know how many goddamn lyric notes and shit i have in my fucking that notes app and yep all that shit dude i fucking uh <laughs> I got fucking, I'll pull on the voice app and like sing melodies and shit and right. whatever. Like I probably have like 25 plus finished songs <laughs> that I wrote the entire song in there. Right. But it's just me going. Da, 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 da. You know, like, <laughs> and it's just, you hear it's ridiculous sounding, you know, but yes. I'm like, I get it. What I'm trying to I, do. I get it. What, yeah. Bobby you McFerrin know, made a career out of it. Right. Right. Well, that's all yeah. fucking, uh, sorry if I've talked about this on here before, but Michael Jackson fucking used to do a lot of shit yep. all the time, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's. So that's what I'm, that's what I do when I'm, you know, I write at work or write at home driving, do a lot of driving coming from Grand Rapids or whatever. And it's like, okay. Yeah. You know, just writing in my head is, is mostly, but I have to put it down on write paper it down, or, dude, or you won't remember i won't God. remember it you yeah. think you will but you won't no i know it I you know. know it's at night i wake up and i'm like oh yep. wait that, there was something uh, yeah. something happened here i don't know what it was but i gotta write something down so do the amount of times of the dead of night when you wake up at like <laughs> four in the morning yeah, you got all those yeah, yeah. fucked up sleep yep. chemicals going yep. through your brain yep. it's just Dope like oh mean. jesus christ exactly. some of the wildest yeah. shit man well, that's a classic Seinfeld where he wakes up and he writes that thing down and he thinks it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> the whole episode is him trying to decipher what, what the, the fuck, fuck he wrote down. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he keeps going, is this funny to you? He's handing it to people and he's like, they're like, what? I don't get it. He's like, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, so, yeah, that's my writing technique. I don't know if it... Yeah. Seems to be working for me. I might need to change some things. Nah, up that's it, soon, dude. I mean, you can, you know, and then revise, right? Everything's right. drafts. Exactly. Yep. I yeah. do that shit, too. I don't even do stand-up. I have a fucking whole bunch of comedy bits in my yep. phone. I'm like, this is fucking funny. <laughs> you should try yeah. it sometime. It's, we it's want fun. to. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough. Hey, it was funny to me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's it's funny fun. to me at the time. In the shower. We've been right? talking about it for a long time. Like, let's go out, fucking do five minutes, possibly tape it, throw it up Two minutes. here for the masses. Hell yeah. yeah uh, two minutes is probably a lot more, uh, uh, lot uh, more I, doable. I got a spot for you. It's your hometown. Yeah. Come on Let's down. Let's go, fruit pour, baby. Do some minutes. the wisest decision you've ever made. You ever heard the yeah. news bits on here that, uh... No, <laughs> yes, the yes, problem <laughs> is, if me and him return to fruit pour, we're not going to be... You're not going to be able to hold capacity in that thing. Yeah. The whole town's coming out, dude. Kind of living legends We're legends there, in yep. fruit pour, bro. <laughs> That's yep. what I'm thinking. I need to <laughs> fucking put some seats in there. People demand. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially with the notoriety from this podcast. Right, yeah, exactly. These fans I mean, banging down the doors. So hometown you see, I mean, legends. Anywhere between... Between 20 and 30, 30 listeners on a good week on YouTube. So, yeah. Pretty impressive. Pretty yeah. imposing force in the podcast industry, to be sure. No, it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, he's really yeah, killing we, it. I out know. There. We need to try. I've looked at open mics here and, like, this is fucking so lame. But to be honest with you, it's like, open mic, 10 o'clock on Sunday night. And I'm like, that's not happening. I'm right. sorry. I'm, you know, like, fuck. I wish I could. I want to go try out some shit, but, like, there's no goddamn way because I got a real job. Exactly. So happening. you're right at the borderline right, <laughs> right now, my friend. 34, yeah. 35. You yeah. still get away with that shit. Just Once wait. you get up into 39, it's like, yeah. exactly. Those couple years make I'm a big tired. difference, baby. Right? My back hurts. <laughs> my back hurts. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm not doing that. My back hurts. My gout's flaring up. You know, that's, uh, <laughs> what do we That's go? not funny. That really hurts. 
hurt. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. supposed to be beer. We're drinking that brutal. fucking bush light, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Steak <laughs> some beer, baby. Yeah. Steak some beer. Right. Pickle, get pig's you. feet yep. and shit. All kinds Getting of organ gout, meat. dude. <laughs> That'll do it for real. That's gout some painful is shit. Uric acid to build up oh. in, in your joints. Yeah. I know all about the gout. I never had it, but for some reason, I know many things about it. Well, so, how do you decide to like. No, wait a minute. I'm trying to talk about the gout here. Not... <laughs> I, got a, I got a tight five on gout. I'm to get to it. I got a solid five on gout. Dude. Yeah. You exactly. probably could. Oh, yeah. The gout's funny as hell, dude. King of the Hill back in the day. There was an episode where Bobby's eating liver and kidneys and shit, and he gets he gout. Gets gout. He's, yeah. he's yeah. hanging out with that Jewish guy. <laughs> I'm a sugar. Yeah. I remember that one. But that's, that's fucking dumb. Oh, man. There was I some miss fucking that show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That show. Show, dude. What's his show. face? The guy that played Dale, R.I.P. Yeah, he's just passed away. Oh, what, no yeah. shit. What was his name? Fuck. Rusty Shackelford. Gibbs. Was that it? Something no, like that, was name. <laughs> <laughs> that was That was it. That was his alias. <laughs> alias. Yeah. Oh, oh. Rusty Shackelford. I don't yep. remember that either. I guess I didn't see as much King though. I would have believed that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's him, man. That's, yeah, that's yeah. It. Rusty, yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> God damn, that was a great show. I watched like a five minute mashup of all the funniest oh, Hank yeah. Hill stuff, dude. It's yeah. just some of the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever read. Those man. mashups on YouTube when you watch one of those things, when they line it all up back yep. to back, like, I would just be like buckled over the Simpsons ones, man. Like, best of fucking Millhouse or Millhouse, best of yep. fucking. Uh, the uh, principal Skinner, dude, the exactly. Skinner b- lined up like ten minutes deep <laughs> of the best of Skinner. I was like, oh, oh, oh. I like, could not <laughs> Just breathe. Dude, this is one Simpsons after another. In its prime had <laughs> arguably the greatest lineup of ancillary characters like oh, this yeah. side of Seinfeld. Of course, man. yeah. There's Just nothing that even compares. So right. Oh, not way good. better than Seinfeld. And I have nothing close to the ancillary characters of the Simpsons. The, oh, re- the recurring. That, that's a bull. No. Oh, dude, dude, they didn't have recurring characters like that. There was a few Watley and whatever. Not so dude. much the recurring characters, but more of those yeah, one-off single episodes. episodes. One-off, yeah, 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 one-off yeah, yeah. different than the fucking Skinners enough, and the Willies yeah. and you right. know, like these fucking Mo, Mo, Mo. And fucking Nelson Muntz. And I mean, they, the dude, they, that's only we just named five, and that's only like not even <laughs> a tiny fraction of them, you know. But I gotta be honest with you, I think it's time to shut that show. Bro, down. Oh, been saying bro. that for years, it's man. Bro. Brutal. Just renewed. Ever since yeah. about episode or uh, season ten, it's yep. been steady fucking downhill. But one to ten, dude, you put it up against yeah. anything. It's even through like funniest fucking shit. I would say it goes up to like thirteen ish or something. Like like season 11, 12, You know when the fucking cutoff is though, or right when it started going on here, we were just talking about our fucking boy right before the movie came out. No, it was no, like no, the no. season or two I'll, leading up to that. Is that's my yeah, conviction. but that was even later, dude. That again, was I got a deeper. far higher comedic standard than uh, the me. most. No, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Discerning well, you yeah, from yeah. the top tier comedy when no, you get right down to it. What it was was after Phil Hartman died. Yeah, yeah. After Phil Hartman died, Poor dude, one there out, was dude. this fucking I don't know. It was just that was just the time. I don't know. It was just coincidence, but like without I don't know. It was just something about that. Well, I, it's not coincidence. I mean, the guy is like one of the funniest fucking oh, human course. beings to ever walk the planet, yeah. dude. The timing, just his the timing fucking, is hot. Oh, Jesus awesome. Christ, Troy man, McClure. How many Troy, Troy McClure. McClure episodes are there? <laughs> many, and they're all uh, hilarious. Lionel Hutz, and Lionel Hutz, dude. Hutz, dude. Hutz, yep. yep. God damn, that fucking guy was fucking funny, dude. His voice acting is just top tier, man. We were just riffing I know, on the that's whole, what, yeah, the that's whole what I was saying. saying our boy Troy McClure, you know, uh, Planet of the Age. Planet of the Age, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Zeus, Dr. Zeus. Yeah, we were just going off about that before you got here. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh, Dr. Zeus. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'll go back through those fucking early seasons even still and just be like, Jesus Christ, this is the funniest fucking writing. It's just so good. It was way, way before anything. That Mm -hmm. was the, I mean, what did it come out in 89, 88, something like that? 89, the first season, yeah. It's crazy. It's so fucking witty and it's so dry at times in the best possible way. Just that subtlety, man. It's so fucking good. Yeah. What's well, your uh, so? What's your Mount Rushmore for like shows, movies? What are you into, comedy wise? Um, I, you know, uh, comedy. Simpsons uh, mostly. No, not <laughs> Simpsons anymore. I, Always Sunny just gets me. Uh, yeah, that a gets referenced show. a lot. You know, yeah. Always Sunny. Uh, you know, there's a couple other ones. Uh, 
Big Mouth. That's on Netflix. I, I, it's so cringy. I, like, I haven't seen uh, that. I, I, I couldn't get down. I tried the first couple it's episodes. Bad, it's not for me. It's not for I me. I tell my friends to watch it with their kids, and they're like 14 or 13. And they're like, no. It's like, you're an asshole. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> don't think, don't early, think your baby. kid's yeah. not doing that right. shit, though. <laughs> That's true enough. True enough. Yeah, that one wasn't for me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know. Anything on Netflix. I, I like watching stand-up specials. I really do. Um, don't have the Netflix account anymore, so I just kind of... Uh, I lost it in the know. divorce. Yeah, I did. I did. She's like, oh, fuck it, I'm taking Netflix I'll give you my password, bro. Exactly. It's a whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's, a whole thing. Like, that's when you know it's over. Exactly. It's like, uh, you know, this kind of sucks. I'm just sitting here with this big screen TV and Getting nothing on it. Multiple profiles, you know? <laughs> Let me sign in, baby. That, uh, Come on. Joe List has got a new uh, special who I'm a oh, huge Huge fan of Julius. Yeah. I think that guy's fucking hilarious. He's got a new hour. I've been meaning to catch quite a bit. His stand good. I think it's kind of a wiener, though, honestly. He's a bit oh, of a I think he's a funny, funny dude. Uh, I gotta agree with you, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like his, like... his comedy's good, but he's a bit of a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> No shit. Joel has come on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> come on down. We kind of have pretty different tastes in stand up, which is one of the. I mean, not across yeah. the board, but like Stavros Halkius, I think, is like one of the no, funniest dudes like on Stavros. the planet. He's it's coming to town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stavros. He's funny. It was, it was all right. Uh, uh, we both really like Mark Norman. I'm a big man. Uh, yeah, yeah I finally caught the new Norman special. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hilarious, man. I just he's like that he good. writes jokes. I just. Even if they all don't land, it's just right. different. You know, there's yeah. guys who tell stories or whatever, and he just like, I'm writing jokes I'm writing and they're jokes. ridiculous. Exactly. You know, like I like that. Sam Morell, man, who he does the they do a podcast together that we might be drunk yes. podcast. I like of that one. Superior podcast yep. to this one, but he's fucking hilarious. Man. He he's is a funny. funny cat, dude. Yes. Yep. I funny really funny. like uh Are You Garbage? Have Ooh, you seen I that? that. Oh. oh, um, I listened to those guys on that podcast. Oh, it's the the big guy and the little yeah. guy. Yeah, yep. yeah, okay. I've never heard the actual podcast, but that that was a funny cat, man. That, that just, uh, yeah, that that hit, hits home pretty, yeah. pretty good. Who are these guys? I don't know this uh, one. Farley and I can't. Chris remember. Farley? No, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. No, Jeff Farley. It's I think, Farley or and like Spade. That. They're back. Yeah, they're back. <laughs> Black sheep too. Here we go. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. What's he yeah, calling? Uh, Are you garbage? That okay. was, that's one of my favorite ones too. It just you know, like I said, you know, growing up and and uh, living in the trailer for a little while, but uh, yeah, it's like I don't know. Like I said, it hits home. That's why I don't watch Shameless either. I can't do it. Uh, oh yeah, you yeah. know. But, yeah, I don't know. The, I don't know those guys. I have to check out that pod. Yeah, that's check. I need something new. I got. Here's what's going on with me. My fucking Spotify app. I can't listen to Rogan anymore because it is playing ads constantly, constantly. And it will like, it will keep playing this. It like gets stuck. It'll keep playing the same <laughs> fucking ads. AG1. I know. Athletic Greens. It's good. I get it. It's fucking, hey, it's your Uncle Joey. Get in it for DraftKings. And I'm like, fuck you. It's like, it's literally like a fucking glitch. And I'm pissed about it. I uninstalled the app. I was going to say, dude, you got I did. Your shit's fucking, completely fucked up. It's fucked up, dude. And, like, and I'm like, even like, it'd be like, if you pause the show, like I got to pause the show to fucking like speak to another human for a second. And then I'm, press yeah. play again and hey it's your uncle joey <laughs> hey come on out. and i'm like fuck and I, it, like it is unlistenable and it'll just keep playing and it'll be like the same ad it'll be like ag1 yeah. zip recruiter the same you ag1 ad the black over rifle and coffee fucking oh, black so rifle coffee uh, yes and i'm like i literally like this happened like three weeks ago and i literally i'm like i can't listen to this show anymore and there's no other options you can't fucking listen to it anywhere else no fuck you spotify just throw it down and score that <laughs> AG1, man. Uh, maybe that's what it's going to be. Gotta buy like, something I will from buy the fucking AG1 yeah. if that's what it takes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just beating you into submission hour after God hour. Damn, fucking exactly. Head. Also, we're available on Spotify. <laughs> But no, it really sucks because I fucking listen to an absurd amount of Rogan like fucking everybody else and right. like I can't fucking catch it Something anymore. Something is fucked with that specific podcast on Spotify because that's the only one who'll constantly I'll be mid-sentence it'll fucking yeah, jump to the yeah, next episode yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Yes. yes. She never does yeah. that on or it starts any over. podcast. Yeah, so yeah. It starts, it starts over. over. What it is with the new one, it'll like if if you're listening to it and they upload a new one like the new episode comes yeah. out, it'll just be like you're done we're listening to the new you're, one. Yeah. 
you're jumping like, to the what next the one. Fuck. Which you would fuck think you'd have that a little bit more dialed in after you pay yeah. half a billion or whatever yeah. the fuck no they shit. gave him. Like maybe ridiculous. get the fucking glitches out of it, you know? It's he, ridiculous. He made, a, he made a little bit of money on that deal. Yeah. You know. Fuck you, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> also, Rogan will be on the pod in two weeks. Indeed. So. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is fucking bullshit. And I'm legitimately fucking pissed off about it because I fucking miss my fucking meathead ass fucking Man, you haven't been missing much the last handful of weeks no, no, it has, you know? uh, no there's a been a whole lot yeah. on there yeah. I've been going real wrestling heavy into the pro wrestling stuff it's always like him really? and Hinchcliffe and <laughs> yeah. ton of pro wrestlers oh, on there no, I don't know. Know. Oh, Hinchcliffe yeah. and that drives me fucking nuts I don't know what yeah. it is about him but I'm not a know, huge man. Hinchcliffe fan either I gotta be honest with you. he's alright but I'm not you. like I, I, I got into Kill Tony for a while a little bit it was almost like kind of forced myself into it and it's right. funny it's funny shit don't get me wrong but a lot of it's just so creepy and mm-hmm. I'm like a lot of it's just bad and I'm just kind of like there's again there's so much to watch and right. listen to and whatever that I'm just kind of like eh, it's all right. yeah. it's all right. mm. Red Band stinks too sorry <laughs> but Red Band stinks dude and like, that's part of it too I'm just like god damn uh, yeah no I, I agree I, it's just like <laughs> Really, when you get right down to it, it's kind of danger really nothing podcast-wise. It really is. Wise, it, really is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. it really is. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched a couple of the Kill Tonys, and it's like, I I don't like being mean to people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I did one roast, and I'll never do a fucking other roast again. Right, right. You know? Well, it's, they always talk so about those guys that do that are always like, when this started, it was like guys who knew each other and buddies roasting right. each other in like a playful way, and I was yeah. just like, hey, we've never met before, right. and... I'm going to rip on that time. You got touched inappropriately when you were <laughs> yeah. six. You know, it's just fucking cutting right to the core out of everything. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh yeah, I, I will not do another roast thing unless it's with people that I know. I roast in some comic from Detroit. I have no fucking idea. So how who does he is. that work? Like, do you got to sit down with the, like, how do you get material about the other? Is it literally just sight unseen? Yeah, sight unseen, you just start I guess. Breaking balls, you know? or, like, do they give you a list of shit or how does um, that go? When I found out who I was roast battling, or battling, I'm like, hey, you know, I want, a, I want a good show. Here's some shit on me. Yeah. I didn't get nothing from him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Motherfuckers uh, playing for you know, I'm like, whatever. Yeah. It's, yeah. you know, $200. Doggy is $200. Dog out there, baby. Whatever. But, yeah, I'm like, no, he was a good dude. It's just like, I'm like, all right, man, I want a, I want a good show. I don't care if I win or lose. Yeah, I want to yeah, make people right laugh. Material. I want you to Let's make fucking, laugh. Yeah, I get it. You I like know? that. But yeah, and like I said, it was my first one, so I'm like, uh, yeah. No, nope, did you not go doing balls that. out? Was it just like where you were? You I was. Just, it was like it my how? first set of stand up yeah. where I had thought I had five minutes and I just like rattled off everything, didn't give any time to settle. You <laughs> know, it's like <laughs> I don't want to be up here right now. <laughs> you know, how terrifying is that? The first time you're up on stage and just like, how is this gonna fucking? Get? I mean, were you shitting your pants? Was it? Uh, it was weird because it was at Little Brown Jug and there was four people there. Okay. But it's like, all right. That seems like it'd be what you want, dude. Nobody <sighs> there. Get a little mic time. A little no mic time. Got a couple laughs. Yeah. And it's like, all right, cool. You know, this is fun. We're going to do this every week and, you know, in front of the same three people that are already shit faced that don't want to be here anyway. You know, you know it's. Shut up! I don't know if this is right or not, but just looking at it from afar, it seems like that might be more intimidating, like a super small crowd like that, because it's so fucking intimate. You know, yeah, even if it's yeah, like yeah. 20, 30 people, it's a little bit more nameless and faceless, right, and there's more right. laughs in the room versus right. like four people you're looking at dead in the eyes. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it, it's the bigger the crowd, the better, the better it is for me anyways, because I, sure. you know, I don't go up there and murder very well but i got some good laughs and the yeah. bigger the crowd it's like okay i feel pretty good about right. this one yeah. it's, it's yeah. It, you can gauge it a little bit better you got four people that you're talking to and it hits 25 percent of the yeah. time and there's one person that's like oh that was you that awkward yeah, on the exactly. back of their head. <laughs> it's like god damn it empty room empty room yeah well and to your point earlier like comedy more so than anything else like not obviously there's a vibe in a concert and some other stuff when you're there with people but there's so much more momentum when you've got a big group comedy wise right yeah, 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 yeah. such a contagious thing yeah, it just kind of builds, builds on up. itself mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's just yeah it's timing is everything for from what i've seen it's just timing and you just like you said you can 
build up but you know when i first started it was like i gotta get up there and i gotta get off the stage i don't want to yeah. be up here i'm nah, scared you, you can't know? do that you gotta it's live like in you it gotta, you gotta yes, live in it dude. right yeah <laughs> yeah you gotta slow down yeah. and, you know let some of that shit sink yep, in i'm yep, not yep. a smart man but some of those people are a lot <laughs> not smarter than me yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like okay yeah well, i've actually well. seen comics like you know like you know, whatever fucking less famous people or amateurs or whatever do that exactly where I'm like it's what you said was actually really funny right. if you would have just lived in it for a second and what yep. they do is you don't get an immediate laugh and so you think and then they like jump on something else or something right. it's like no 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 if you would have just stood there and let that marinate for give, 10 seconds give it 10 like, seconds you would have yeah. been like it would have been way better like even right. if it's like even if you just think it's funny let people know that you think it's funny yes and it's fuck like, you if you don't yeah. think it's funny or whatever like just live in it like you don't gotta like jump right on exactly. the next thing and, or and something that was my biggest problem when I first started it's like I just got it I'm getting up here I'm gonna run through my set and I'm gonna get off stage yeah it's like oh no you need to let that shit simmer a little bit mm -hmm. this is semi random but it's super applicable too so in uh, college one year we took this film class together taught by two guys one of whom had nine <laughs> fingers which is a whole different thing in <laughs> itself yes but i remember real. those guys pointing out like it's very much an american western thing to be horribly uncomfortable sitting in silence right and like yeah, there's this right. always this propensity to fill dead air exactly, and not kind of yeah, let it sit and yeah. marinate to your point right. right so a podcast came out yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no you gotta let it you gotta let it sit you gotta you know i i usually try to have somebody who's fairly new open up the shows at pincrest because it's pretty forgiving crowd and hey if i didn't have uh, Scott Zank put me on a show and, you know, hey, give me five minutes. I would, wouldn't be doing this now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I like to open up doors for everybody else because I've had people help me too. So, for sure. you know, that, that does make a difference. And, you know, I don't tell people, hey, that don't do that joke. That wasn't funny. No. Work on it. Figure it out. Yeah, you know. They'll, they'll, they'll realize. They'll realize. <laughs> or they'll figure it out or, you know. Those top two rows working? <laughs> Top two rows of that sound yeah, working. Yeah, like, uh, they, you might want to need to make sure those are operational. Dude. <laughs> so, my friend, yeah. uh, <laughs> tables are really turning. Really turning. Really turning. Are. You know, I'm not sure about mm -hmm. you. It's been a real, real hectic week mm -hmm. on my side. <laughs> a lot of hustle and bustle. You know, the the comings and goings of day to day life. Yes. How does one? Yes stay up on the current happenings of the world yeah man that's the thing maybe i could fill you all in if only there were some on. sort of mechanism <laughs> do you want the you want the yeah, hours in the hours yes yes news of the world oh man so this fucking what what i'm just breaking your balls oh, yeah here. no make sure that thing's all right yeah fucking uh the one time i've written news bits in like <laughs> the last like three months or more this is gonna be three <laughs> months of sweet <laughs> sweet revenge it really i'm kind of looking forward it to really this is. i'm just I'm shitting on every one of these yeah, regardless and, of how and, good and to be fair it will be <laughs> it is truly truly breathtakingly terrible all right here we go guys Oh, man, I am fucking hammered, so let's fucking let's do this. <laughs> Biden repeats the same story twice, almost word for word within minutes. Oh, Sparking wow. Sparking concern online. Have you seen that no, shit? No, no. <laughs> fucking Biden. That math checks out, however. Uh, let me see what I got here. President Biden lit up social media after a report from Wednesday uh, evening revealed that he told the same story at a fundraiser just minutes apart, nearly <laughs> word for word. Nice. <laughs> Running it back. Oh, man, yeah. Biden later clarified that he is simply practicing for his post-presidential gig. We're talking about the same shit over and over as normal as the third and new host of the Danger of a Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. I'll give that one to you. In another related incident, Biden praises the Congressional Black Caucus during an address to the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. <laughs> have you seen that shit? Nice. That's just funny all on fucking out of zone. Indeed. I, I have not seen that. <laughs> wow. The, the gaff came as he delivered a speech in Washington at the Congressional Hispanic Caucus 4th Annual Gala. He said, quote, 
Everyone is entitled to be treated with dignity and respect. The Congressional Black Caucus embodies all of those values, he added, without stopping to correct himself. (laughs) When Biden's press secretary, Corrine Jean-Pierre, was asked to comment on the gaffe, she clarified, no, no, the president knew where he was. They're just all black to him. (laughs) Yeah. No. <laughs> Fucking Biden. <laughs> oh man, that's goddamn cool. JB indeed. All right, moving right along. Here. <laughs> Lizzo, our good friend Lizzo, friend mm-hmm. of the pod, Lizzo here, mm-hmm. has been hit with another lawsuit. Designer alleges her team fostered a sexualized work environment on tour. Wow. I know. Fashion designer Asha Daniels, who toured with Lizzo earlier this year, has filed a suit against the singer and members of her team, alleging that while Lizzo preached body positivity and inclusion, uh, her employees were forced to work in a, quote, racist and sexualized environment. No good. I know. Lizzo. I felt like I was living in a madhouse. It was totally shocking, Daniel said, 35 years old, told NBC News. Uh, then she went on to say that, in fairness, it wasn't all bad, and she did appreciate all the free bananas. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that cricket sound or super it's so long. It's, it's, you it's You can let that one settle for a while. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Solid 15 (laughs) seconds of demoralization with that particular sound. Oh, man. Did you guys see this shit? NASA images have shown in unprecedented unprecedented detail the moon's south pole region. Wow. Yes. I see this. Yes. Uh, Thanks to two lunar orbiting cameras working together on the moon's Shackleton Center. Where the fuck that is? NASA has been able to release a mosaic showing unprecedented detail of the South Pole. Wow. I know. It's pretty wild. Yeah. It's pretty wild. While impressive, the details of the photos pale in comparison to the detailed pictures of my <laughs> South Pole region, which I regularly send to strangers on the internet. Let's go, Let's go. I got all kinds. Of, boys, I'm not done. I'm not I'm done. disappointed to not get a Uranus single there, but, you know, yeah, it is dude, what it dude. is. This is what it is. <laughs> Going with my South Pole. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Did you guys hear about this shit? Weather data from Pearl Harbor warships recovered to study climate science. Wow. Wow. Uh, Yes. Yes. It's a true story. A rescue mission has recovered millions of pieces of weather data recorded at Pearl Harbor. Climate scientists say the information can be used to understand how the world's climate has changed over the decades. Okay. Pretty wild. Okay. Pretty wild, yeah. Unsurprisingly, the wartime climate data abruptly ends with an unprecedented heat wave from the direction of Japan. <laughs> it's dang. <laughs> Give myself my own. <laughs> I knew that was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, moving right along. In the news, here. <laughs> Starbucks to face lawsuit alleging its refresher fruit drinks are missing fruit. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Starbucks. I know. Okay. Come on, Starbucks. We thought better of you. Separate game up. Starbucks has been ordered <laughs> by a federal judge to face a lawsuit claiming that some of its refresher fruit drinks lack fruit. Okay. <laughs> U.S. District Judge John Cronin rejected Starbucks' request to dismiss the class action complaint because, quote, a significant portion of reasonable consumers would assume that the beverages in question would contain fruit. One would think. One would think. <laughs> Correct. A star, uh, spokesperson for Starbucks claims the allegations, quote, inaccurate and, quote, without merit. He also went on to say that this is Starbucks. If you want fruit, try a little Nas X concert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty good. <laughs> We're not done yet, folks. Brace yourself. <laughs> Fucking tie in for this shit. Hot dog. The Wienermobile is back after short-lived name change. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
This is so fucking bad. All right. Just four months after announcing that the hot dog shaped Wienermobile was changing its name to the Frankmobile, the distinctive vehicle is reverting to its original name. Well played. Got to have it. Fans agreed that the name change was just the worst. The worst. Uh, <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> Dangerville has obtained an exclusive inside source from the Oscar Meyer offices, guys. Oh, wow. Well, oh, yes. nice. Some of the crack yes. reporting team getting after it. Yep, and have been given a transcript of the marketing meeting where other possible names for the Wienermobile were floated to executives. Okay. Yep. Okay. Names included the Beef Bus, All right. the Willy Wagon, <laughs> the Cock Car, the Driving Dick, and, of course, the enormous penis on wheels. <laughs> also, a white van with the spray-painted words free wiener on its side was also suggested, but quickly shot down. All right. All right. <laughs> you are correct, <laughs> The cock car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <we're still> <laughs> Moving right along. <clears throat> uh, autocorrect strikes again. Have you guys seen this shit? Zelensky, President Zelensky, was greeted in New York with a glory to urine sign. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which this is just hilarious. All things around. <laughs> Ukrainian President Zelensky was met with a hilarious display on one of New York City's vibrant billboard signs that featured the colors of the Ukrainian flag. Flag and the words glory to urine uh, on the sign. <laughs> the words are being blamed on a computer error that corrected the word Ukraine for urine, though this has not been confirmed at this time. Seems unlikely. Indeed. <laughs> After the sign went viral, Zelensky was reached out to by both Vladimir Putin and former USA President Donald Trump. Their mutual love for the golden shower may be the only road to peace. <laughs> <laughs> smash! Smash! So mad. <laughs> and lastly, folks, lastly, ooh, coming in hot on this mic. Indeed. Uh, let's see here. A uh, police stop a Nebraska man for bucking the law with a bull riding shotgun in his car. Yeah, did you I see saw that? This was a huge thing. Dude. <laughs> literally, yes. literally, a car driving with a bull in it was pulled over by police in Northeast Nebraska's biggest city. Norfolk Police Captain Chad Ryman said it didn't take long for officers to track down the modified Ford Crown Victoria, yes, which dude. is by just in and of itself is just glorious. Right. A fucking Crown Vic with a bull riding shotgun after 911 call about it driving on the main highway entering the city on Wednesday morning. Lee Mayer, the owner of the car and the bull, whose name, the bull's name is Howdy Doody, <laughs> said he really didn't think it was a problem. After all, the bull wasn't allowed to steer. Oh, oh, all right, wow. I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna allow Let's it. Go. And Let's that, go. ladies and gentlemen, is this week's. <laughs> You're welcome. You wow. Suck the world. You are welcome, you know, sir. I'm, I'm sucker for a good pun, a bad pun, any pun in between. I'm gonna allow it. <laughs> Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. you. It's been a got, minute. You definitely got five minutes at Fruitport. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. It's all Let news. Up, man. <laughs> Just you know, going the bars are watching pretty the high over the last there. handful of months. So, uh, yeah, it's Indeed. a tough act to live up to, but you held your own, my friend. Well, you when you haven't own. done it in like six months and been just relying on you, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty easy to come in with. <laughs> Coming in hot. So I'm crafting hot. those bangers for a period of months. Just huddled away in the base and stored above. The fucking bull guy, for real, though. They, he, like, it's literally, he, like, chainsawed out, like, half of the Crown Vic. It's absurd. And there's just a giant 4,000-pound <laughs> bull or whatever, like, in the passenger side. It's got, like, any, like, welded in, like, scaffolding. There's like yellow construction scaffolding fucking <laughs> welded in on the side. This guy's my hero. Out of control. It's got to be horribly <laughs> uncomfortable for the bull, dude. Bull's loving it. What kind of car was he? Uh, the Crown, the crown, crown Vic, 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 dude. dude. Yeah. That's going to put some wear on that right yeah, side, indeed. though. 
<laughs> we're placing ball bearings ball all the bearings time. And, you know, <laughs> and my brakes are shot. <laughs> Ironically, the passenger seats still not up to snuff to uh, no. cart Lizzo around in the air. <laughs> yeah. oh. Ooh. Hey now. Hey, hey now. now. So I got a couple Hi-oh. of other news stories here. Food for thought here. These were just too good to not talk about. So did you see this one? There's this candidate for the House of Delegates who live streams sex videos of herself with her husband and is now claiming sexual assault. Wow. Not on her husband. On the people who are talking about her video. Oh. So this okay. chick's running for the House of Delegates in Virginia. She was streaming sex acts with her husband on Chatterbait. Nice. Which I've never <laughs> been on. Not familiar with this. Uh, no, I don't know anything bit, about personally. it. Do no, you yeah, have it's a great name? video, though. Uh, Susanna Gibson okay. is her name. I'll be writing that one down. Later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so she was tra- you, like, you, basically, you can pay for tokens on there, and then those get cash in for money type thing. Okay. okay. She was saying the tips would quote go to a good cause, so she's mm. trying to raise the money on there. Mm-hmm. She posted more than a dozen videos of herself and her husband engaging in lewd sex acts in nice. 2022. So of course, the other party. He brings this shit to light and they're trying to shame her for it and whatever. Yeah. And then she's saying this is an illegal invasion of her privacy and constitutes a crime under the revenge porn law. But she posted the goddamn video. That's not that revenge stuff. porn at all. No, yeah, not no. one bit, dude. No. no. No, yeah. that's not. That's yeah. yeah. That's ridiculous. Right, also, let's pull kudos up. to her. Let's and pull she's, got my, <laughs> she's got my vote. Yeah. What is the definition of lewd? I need to see these videos just to see how you know what what is lewd. Yeah, indeed. You know. Uh, apparently, for some of the more privileged viewers, and for a certain amount of money, there were some backdoor shenanigans that were uh, were on the table for right. them. So, how much did you spend on this? How many tokens did you yeah, buy? Well, you have a lot of in-depth knowledge on I can neither confirm nor <laughs> deny <laughs> these wild <laughs> allegations. Let's just say the house payment was a little bit late this month. Yeah, and the mortgage is coming in slightly You're later. really weirdly into politics in Virginia all yeah. of a sudden, dude. I don't know. You're really interested in that race. You know, know, it's really been a passion of mine for a long time. I, mean, I don't live there, but the, the well-being of the folks of Virginia has been top of mind for me for, for quite a long time. And then That's this one, wild. which you're going to love, my friend. So this Alabama I am a school band director, a high school band director, got tased and arrested during a performance. Oh, dude. Okay. It's so, been really bad. <laughs> I, dude, high school football game in Alabama. The game wraps up, dude, and they're playing like a quote fifth quarter show, right? So basically doing a song, everybody's leaving the stadium, right. they're playing music, yeah. etc. Nothing out of the norm. Cops come up there. They're telling the dude to get the fuck off the stage, trying to get him to kill the song like right into it. He's two minutes in. Uh, the band's playing. The officer starts yelling at the director that you're going to go to jail if you don't get the fuck out of here. Whoa. The director gives him two thumbs up and says, that's cool. Which is a great <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's a good line. basically a big <laughs> fucking <laughs> respond. The song ends. They drag him off the fucking conductor stand. The guy refused to put his hands behind his back because it's a little much, right? It's a goddamn high school band show. Chill the fuck what out. The They're playing his the song. They fucking tase him. What the yep. fuck? So the cops are claiming that he pushed one of them. Bullshit. But they're also wearing body cam footage, which is getting reviewed right now. And this guy's like, I didn't fucking touch anybody. Yeah, and you plus, know? there's yeah. got to be tons of witnesses, including everyone who played in that band. 100%. Who's literally right. watching the director. So the, the band's got like 140 kids. They're fucking freaking out watching this shit go down. This guy's on the <laughs> ground flopping around like Michael J, you know, getting tased like a motherfucker, dude. It's out of control, man. Damn. Damn wild, dude. Let's escalate the situation there. It's no like, shit. You know, that never happened to us in the band. God damn. Well, the dominant performances, like clearly, yeah, yeah. clearly we were <laughs> able to finish and encourage. But also, these. like this would have been a planned event, you know, like the, this is all planned out. Like as per yeah. when thing. the band plays and you know, like whatever. That's fucking weird. And what also, song were they playing? Yeah, no really shit. not like that song or what? I don't know, man. Well, is it Freebird? <laughs> so I don't know. I could understand. <laughs> yeah. okay? I, could, I, could, I, could, I could see that. It's like minute 11 here. Let's wrap this up yeah, here. Let's get a move. In a Cata de Vida? Yeah. 
<laughs> don't do the solo. So I don't know what the deal was <laughs> with the cops, but it was in Alabama, and the instructor was black, so I don't know if oh. like, it was a race thing or not, which I'm not saying was. I have no idea if the cops are black, white, or in between, but I don't know. Pretty fucked up, man. They got on that boat, that boat fucking feud down there. Remember the fucking, on the docks, the boat? Riot, you guys remember it a couple months ago? Uh, yeah, months? Absolutely not. Vaguely, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it on here. What? <laughs> Vaguely. What's the, the what's boat this? riot? Those dudes who fucking like wouldn't move their boat, wouldn't and that huge their, yeah. riot broke out on the docks down there in Alabama or whatever. I have no recollection of this <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a wild shit. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. There's some weird shit going on. Alabama's not the spot. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> They'd rather be in Virginia, I think, for some reason. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, seems like the uh, political uh, the situation politi- on there is a little better. <laughs> 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 yeah, people are just too goddamn tense, man. Everybody's got to chill the fuck out. Pick your mm-hmm. battles. Relax, a pick your battles. Body, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like they're probably yes. bigger fish to fry out there right. than some fucking high school fucking band. High school like, band. chill out. Yeah. Seriously. It stinks. Wow. It's funny. I was pulled over by a police officer when I was about 17, 18 years old and uh, didn't have my ID on me or anything. I got, you know, thrown in the back of the cop car and stuff. And it's like I was going to school to be a police officer. Okay. Got all my shit in there. Yep. He shot three people that year. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. Three of them. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Two people. One, there was a guy wielding a sword at him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, right? <laughs> to be fair, right? Well, I mean, it's not like... I mean, <laughs> use a taser. It worked out for the band guy, <laughs> but yeah, shot him, and then he shot another person. The yeah. Riz is out there attacking with a fucking samurai <laughs> sword. I was like some nerdy-ass motherfucker. Ooh, ooh the comic book store yeah, guy. Right. You know? right. I'll defend my honor. With my sword. <laughs> swords are pretty good look weapon wise, dude. Uh, if you're gonna come strong as somebody, yeah. swords not a bad way to go. No, it's kind of a ball. Swords in here, yeah, dude. We need like one of those like cross samurai swords. things up here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. Got it's got a I'm, I'm, I'm sure that I'm guy saying, was a larper. Yeah, right. yeah. We had yeah. some nerdy motherfucker come at us with a sword when we were kids. My neighbor, he was like this older dude who we didn't really know or nothing, and he like and my brother and I and fucking the other neighbor kids and I don't know. We must have been. 10, 12, 14 ish, something like that. And this motherfucker, like, came at us with a sword. Jesus, dude. <laughs> and he was, he was just some nerd, though. And, like, my dad had to go over and be like, What are you doing? And he's like, Ooh, I'm defending my honor. You know? Like, <laughs> Gotta go Steven Seagal on his ass. You breaking dude. out some Akita shit, dude. There was always that one kid in the neighborhood that was just strange, right? Growing up. Oh, yeah. You know? We had many. We had a homeschool kid that used to ride a banana seat bike with oh, tassels dude. on it up and down our dirt road. Bro. It was a real uncomfortable situation, dude. Oh, what's with the homeschool Not a great kids, look. man? They're uh, always the weirdest, dude. You're telling me. Yeah, I was man. married to one for 10 years. Oh, yeah. Right? They, yeah, he went down that road, huh? No, she's great. Yeah. She got the Netflix account, though. <laughs> She did. She did get the Netflix account. Who's homeschooled now? <laughs> so I don't think I ever told you this story, and you're probably going to be a little shocked to hear it. So there was this teacher that I had back in the day. You didn't okay. get fondled, did you? Super hot, and I was kind of like putting the moves on her type thing. One day, she kept me after class, and like shit kind of went down, and it was pretty awesome. Like, got really intense. Yeah. What? <laughs> so nice. like... Being homeschooled is not all bad. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ, man. dude. Let's go. Go. Oh, that's pretty solid, uh, too. That's, that's yeah, right. That's, that's I like that. Anthony Jeselnik kind of <laughs> twist right there, dude. Jeselnik, I fucking love that guy, man. I'm a huge fan of that cat. I think that yeah. dude's pretty brilliant. No, he's... Uh, Did you yeah. just come up with that right now? Or is that something you've been cooking I've up? I've been trying to grab it for a while. Yeah, nice. Nice. I was like, dude, if you were fucking doing anything with any teacher, you would 100% have told me. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah There's dude. no way I did oh. not know this. I would have made t-shirts of <laughs> yeah, stuff to commemorate right. the situation. <laughs> that clearly didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one time I banged Mrs. So and So. Yeah, there were there were a couple of, a couple top prospects back in the day that would have been glorious for her, but I had it was one. not to be for your boy. Yeah. Mm. Couple mm-hmm. of t- substitutes. Oh, oh a couple yeah, of substitutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the substitutes coming in. 
coming in uh, knee high fuck me boots. I'm oh, like, are you dude. serious? <laughs> the knee high boots, I'm dude. Like, that's wow. A, that's a that's a killer, dude. That's a kill oh, man. Yeah, his name was Oak Mr. Ridge Jones. Gal. <laughs> Oak Ridge gal. <laughs> Okay, that sounds about right to you. That uh, made oh, a yeah. little shot there if you would have uh, pressed oh, the envelope yeah, on know, that hey. one, dude. Uh, he had the I ran sweetest into her a mustache. couple times here and there. Okay. I don't have a mustache. I didn't get facial hair <laughs> until I was like 23. <laughs> Still comes in all patchy and shit. It's the horrible. mustache is tough. The beard's pretty solid. The stash is a little questionable for me up top. But the connection, yeah. dude. This is the connection from the stash to the right. beard. Yeah, like, yeah. And for some reason on mine, it's like, Solid on the right side, but not exact on the same. Left side. Exact like, same. What the fuck, dude? It's finally starting to come in a little bit. It's it's a little questionable there. It's you got to grow the comb over, dude. The stash comb over. Indeed. I could, never, go down I could never shave my my little goatee that I got here because no. I was heavily full of acne. Oh yeah. Acne, so I just ripped up. I'm scarred. I got a big oh, ass oh, yeah. yeah. oh, That sucks. I'm dude. not killing it with the ladies anyways. So, <laughs> um, that's definitely not going to happen. It's not an option for me. Oh, um, nobody knows anymore. You grow that out, dude. Right. Yeah. I just Fuck told, it. what, six, seven million people? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> six, seven people? <laughs> I was <laughs> literally going to go <laughs> back to the goatee with the stubble around it, right. which I've only done once or twice, dude. Yeah. yeah. I, I Like, if you've got a small child around me and I'm rocking a goatee, you're keeping that kid pretty far away, dude. There are some people that can pull right. off. The, you look tremendous with a goatee. Thank you. Thank you. I look like some questionable behavior, dude. There, there's some right. shit going remember on. Remember when I shaved mutton look. chops? Right. Do you remember that? I can never Ooh. forget that, my friend. I just Shaved. Forever burned into my memory, unfortunately. I just shaved fucking mutton chops and I looked like a goddamn fucking. That was probably the most psycho fucking thing I've ever looked. Oh man, I'll have to show you. I uh, I got a handful of pics on my phone, so I was going through some fucked up facial hair stuff during COVID because <laughs> why not? Basically? Well, that's when I started growing my beard. That's why I grew my beard. Yeah. I eventually, when uh, the Chester A. Arthur. The enormous mutton chops going down into the yeah, mustache. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, dude, that's look, when dude. it's connected, dude. You connect yeah. it into the stash, shave everything fucking below it. That's a oh, glorious, yeah. glorious look. I dude. might do that again. Fu Manchu, I feel like it's something I need to dabble in. You got to grow the Fu Man. Yeah, that means you grow it out down here. It has to come down all the way, and then yeah, you start growing it Yeah, we've covered this before, here. yeah. I'm going to step my, my Fu Manchu yeah. game up here. Yeah, so why Biden's coming on to keep talking about the same goddamn thing. Over <laughs> I was trying to come up with something that was Megadeth related as well. <laughs> all we talked about was Megadeth for like six months. Yeah, that was a solid round of material right there. Yeah. We got to get into some fucked up facial hair. That's the next move, dude. We got to try and out facial hair one another. The problem is, is it like takes a while. You got to grow it out and then do something with it, you know? Anything worth doing, uh, it's going to take some time, my friend. You really got to right. put in the All effort, right. the dedication. I don't know. I don't know if I can shave this glorious beard. The uh, I need to go back to the handlebar mustache. I was rocking handlebar's that for nice. a hot minute. That was a, a fucking handlebar's good nice. look, dude. That was a real nice, nice look. Yeah. Well, you got to get your bike back, dude. That was the move. Yeah. You're cruising yeah. around on the fucking you Indian with a handlebar. Have yeah, dude. A handlebar mustache without having a fucking motorcycle. I know. It no, kind of goes just hand weird. Hand. Yeah. yeah. Then you're just know. weird. Yeah. But if you do and you got a Harley Davidson shirt, people are like, respect. respect. Yeah. <laughs> this guy dominates. This guy owns an unreasonable level. You're not seeing a whole lot of Honda t shirts and that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a, That's incredible. <laughs> Kawasaki, Kawasaki t shirt with a head of oh, mustache. I want to get a Kawasaki t shirt, yeah, dude. That would baby. be huge. That's the move. <laughs> <laughs> I used to wear a lot of Fox racing and I'd never been on a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. you were that guy. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I had a similar move. I wore a bunch of blind skateboarding t shirts and we dabbled for roughly three yeah, weeks. Yeah, and right. skateboarding. Doing a one inch ollies uh -huh. again. I'm totally skater, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that was just kind of like the, what the popular thing was. I kind of hate that Fox racing gear, though. I'm not going to yeah. lie. It's a bit of... I know a lot of fucking people that wear it, and I'm just kind of like, eh, it's, it's not for me. Too, uh, no, it's too right on the... It's like the monster stuff. Yeah, so what's oh, the yeah, same, yeah. It's yeah, the exact same, same thing? Same crowd, right? too. <laughs> All right, I'm good. You listen to Five Finger Death Punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It does look like it'd be an absurd amount of fun, dude. Fucking taking big old jumps and stuff. Do I have the constitution or sack to actually pull it off? Absolutely not. But 
It's so, this is going to sound fucking weak as fuck, but it is so absurdly fucking dangerous, dude. Everybody I know that does it, and I know several people that do it, they fuck themselves up. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it was just like, this is what, and I've gone to a few things. I'm like, yeah, it, it is not my scene at all, but I'm just like, this is not worth it. Like, you guys aren't even that good, and you're going to, like, get fucked up for yeah. life for this, dude? Like, nah, I'm straight, man. You're 40. Settle down. Yeah, right? yeah. You know? seriously. <laughs> Like, enough already, dude. I the, want those people in with fair people. The know, like, wildest shit I saw ever was we went to an ice race in Elsie Walker Arena, I think it was. Damn. And they had these fucking studded tires and shit, and they're flying yeah, around yeah, yeah. on a complete ice track, yeah. which that fucker just looks like an absolute widow maker, dude. I was there. They did it one year, and then never <laughs> it was did it again. Wild, right? and they never did it again. <laughs> the brass low hangers, you gotta have yeah, to yeah, attack yeah. something oh, no like shit. that. Like, kudos to anyone with the sack to pull that shit off, yeah. man. Fair. I definitely wouldn't be doing it. I'm good. Indeed. No. You know what I want to do, though, fellas? I want to do that fucking polar plunge shit they do down there in Muskegon. And it's a fun, fun time. You've been there? Oh, I do it every year. Yeah, yeah you done it. Our homie Jason Bryant, he does it. I don't, he, know he, I don't know. He's, he's done it like three times or something. I don't know. He's done it last time. I don't even like a chilly pool. No, it's so brutal. Then, uh, <laughs> that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's a great time, and actually, uh, Pincrest does that. We were the f uh, the highest raising bars in the ski game. Right oh, now, so. okay, yeah, because they do it as like teams and yep, that kind teams, of shit. Right? It's or fun, yeah. It's nice, a great time. Nice, nice. Everybody gets drunk and then gets in the cold water. That's it's it, like, dude. Okay. Yeah. How long do you got to stay in there for? Is you it jump in, in and out? Jump, thing? Okay. jump in and get out. Yeah. Right. Oof. I don't know. I got to keep wanting to fuck around with an ice bath, but it's just like, uh, I'm not, it seems a little too uncomfortable. Sign me up know? for the thing oh, though right? this year, yeah. dude. Let me know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, come on dude. down, man. Yeah. It's, it's a good know. time, and it, it goes to a great cause. I mean, Special Olympics. It's it's yeah. uh, it's it's fun. That's I'll a good fucking pull a plunge. If you throw it down, sure, we'll dude. go mano a mano. Let's see who can stay in that motherfucker longest. Dude. We'll, f we'll show right, it you out. can win that. We'll face that. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting in and out. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm pretty sure I threw somebody off the ladder last year just to get out of that shit. <laughs> Chucking girl. women and yeah. children off the side. <laughs> Shout out to Lily. Sorry about that. Every man for himself in that situation for sure. Yeah, I think I would do oh, that, yeah. though. I think I would fucking sack up and do it. No. It, What's the cause that it goes to? Special, special Olympics. Olympics. Oh, okay. Yep. All right, this podcast, for, yeah. it goes. To, it, spon <laughs> <laughs> it sponsors this podcast, too, right. which is basically a special limit. It's not more than to pay for right. itself, yeah. baby. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck it for real. No. Um, change the subject a little yeah. bit. What uh, what kind of music you do? You listen to music. I do. I listen to a lot of music. Um, I'm really into this Pokey Lafrang. It's a kind of old schooly. Uh, Music, you know, they're not very famous, but I've seen them on TikTok. I'm it's like, a yeah. band? Yeah, it's a ba Pokey Lafrang. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. What's the, what are we talking about? Style? It's like uh, big time music. You know, he's got the the big bass and shit. And I don't know. Oh, I kind of oh, like that yeah, stuff. Okay. Uh, OAR is my favorite band, which is kind of douchey, but, you know, hey. I don't really know them either. Um, it's kind of like jam band type yeah, stuff. Yeah, jam band yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I had a buddy that was real big in them back in the, the day. The last concert I went to see was I Prevail. That was fun. Yeah, it's pretty, okay. pretty I cool. Guys, yeah. Uh, yeah. I listen to everything, really. I, yeah, I that's think cool. it, I find it funny the old time country shit starting to come back with yeah. like Chris Stapleton. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I've yeah. been listening to this Johnny Cash and yeah, right, yeah. You know, that shit for a long time. I feel like that whole thing's a pendulum swing because it's the country music's just the fucking most commercial fucking it is. bullshit music it is. there is. I, it's about the only music I don't like is modern country, what you'd call it. This like crossover fucking pop country right. shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so fake. Like, I'm sorry if you, if anybody but it likes it but it is so fake to me i'm just like so there, that's there's this craving for authenticity within that genre and right. that's why those guys chris stapleton and morgan whalen and jelly roll and yeah. fucking homeboy with rich rich men out of richmond or whatever is yep. hitting and all that kind of shit dude yeah I, I can listen to that stuff i can't listen to uh carrie underwood and that kind of shit yeah, you know? yeah. that's the too much for me. If you're going to do that genre, play that actual genre, not yeah. some bullshit yeah. mashup of fucking right. pop and half yeah. rap exactly. and half rock. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking keep it old school. They, and they do mash it. And I don't, I don't have a problem with mashing stuff up because I do that. But it's like there's something about that that it just seems so fake. It's, it's just so forced. fake. It's forced. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's just like this is like 
music for idiots. Like, right. I'm sorry, but it exactly. really is. It's like, like dick jokes all the time. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. It's like, if that's all you're doing, it's right. like, okay, <laughs> like, we get it, you know? And it just all, every single one sounds the same. We always hear it fucking, uh, we got a spot up north and fucking, if we're hanging out there, there's like, you'd be like people around the way playing the shit. Right. So, you know, it's like, you're just hearing like the radio coming over. So yep. it's not like, and it's like every single song is literally the same. The same. It's the same tempo. Yep. The same vocal. It's just like, Jesus Christ, I can't deal with any more of this, you know? <laughs> right. Because I'm all over the map, too. I mean, traditionally, I'm a rock guy, but to me, it's like any great song, you know? Yep. I love a Johnny Cash song. Yep. Dude, if it's a great song, fucking give it to me, man. But it's like, when it's fake, my bullshit meter on fake music is so finely tuned that I'm just like, there is no authenticity to this at all. Yeah. You know? No, I, I I listen to a lot of old rap, too. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. That's... Old rap's the only That's, way to go. I yeah, mean, I don't listen to. I don't get into a whole lot of new stuff just because yeah. I. Yeah, modern rap's kind of bullshit too. You, know, I really you, you get to thirty so. years old and you know what you like, and this is what you're gonna fucking listen to for the yep. rest of your life. You know, I just legitimately think that modern <laughs> rap fucking sucks. You know, and it's like <laughs> speaking of sounds, the exact same and yeah, formulaic right. yeah, and yeah, cookie yeah. cutter. Yeah. You know, it's insert like auto tune. The fucking auto tune bullshit. Up. It's like yeah. okay. Exactly. And it's like, there was always that part of me that was like, oh, well, and it's like, people, well, you're just not fucking hip. And I'm just like, no, it no, just, just sucks. Don't like it. There's tons of stuff that is new that I do like. Right. And it's like, it's like, no, this is just bad. I'm not old. This is just bad. <laughs> right. Rap you feels know? like the one <laughs> genre. So my thing is, I think most people kind of gravitate towards the music that they listen to from age, like call it yeah. 12 right. to 20 yeah. ish or yeah, so, yeah. because those are your formative yeah. years. Like yeah. you get so many of those associations with For all the sure. great times and what you're listening to. Rap, I think, objectively, even from people in the industry who quote unquote know, like that was really the golden era of hip hop. Right. It's yeah. like early, yeah. mid 90s. Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you are into, but like the Dre, the Snoop, Busta, Wu Tang, like that type of shit. Was this different too than the, the bullshit too that's coming yeah, We just, we saw, just saw it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snoop yeah. and Too Short, yeah. and Warren G, oh, and uh, yeah. who's a Wiz Khalifa yeah. out of yeah. Pine Knob. That was a well, banger I mean, of a Wiz show. Khalifa, yeah. he's a newer guy. He's, he's fucking yeah, shook. You know, so I mean, there's great yeah, stuff you know it's just fucking like yeah but most of it it's just like jesus christ this is just the same dumb trap beat with a bunch of mumble rap auto-tune crap right you know it's the same thing as country it gets to be factory farming at a yes, certain point yes. right it's a rinse yep. and repeat it's here's yep. the formula it's yeah. the fucking music equivalent of superhero movies, right? It's like, <laughs> we know this works. You yep. do, you get right. from step A to step B. You yep. do it this. The song is three and a half minutes long. You have this kind of beat. It's yeah. going to sell a fucking million right. copies, which takes all the artistry, all the originality, yeah. all that bullshit, and just says, exactly. fuck you. We're going to make a whole bunch of money and play some shit. That I'm not sure works, they do know. get that much money in a lot of that stuff. You know, the, some of it, yeah, but like a lot of it's like, I'm not really sure this is really moving the needle in any direction you know? i think with rap specifically it's the probably like the easiest genre to get into right because right. they're oh, yeah. easier songs to write you yeah. don't have to play instruments so you yeah. couple that with like oh we can get some bullshit beat or whatever yeah. everybody and their brother who's trying to get into it kind of follows that same yeah. formula you know i so, did a whole record in three weeks <laughs> 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 two years ago that's what started and this it was podcast. still better than literally You're on anything it. Yeah. that was made after yeah. 2015 and it. the whole joke of that record was bringing back the old rap and going against yeah, mumble baby. rap. <laughs> Doing work. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I've been to a lot of concerts. I've never been to a live rap concert, if yeah. you believe it or not. I've only been to two. Know? Yeah, one of them was that fucking and, Snoop show yeah, we just went to. That would be fun. It's I, super I fun. Like to go see that it's shit. different. It's, you know, it's just like here's a DJ playing the song and the guy's kind of out there rapping to it along with right. it. It's, it's not really the same thing as like you know people playing instruments but right. that said it sounds great because it's just a fucking record they're just playing through the PA right. and you you know you get drunk and you dance you get high or whatever <laughs> right. you know it's the, so it's fun yeah. you know for sure and I mean Snoop Dogg I mean it's fucking Snoop Dogg Snoop dude. it was Dogg. fucking huge right. man we, we, oh, we had a blast. we're going to see a uh, fucking uh Help me out. Ooh, Tech, nine? Tech nine. Tech nine. Are yeah, we yeah. going to see? We're Tech going. Nine? God damn it! It's happening. It's happening. 
It's got some muffin this ticket situation. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> I just saw a meme that was like, it was like being the person in the friend group who's in charge of getting the concert <laughs> tickets is a fucking undervalued thing or such like that. It's like a super stressful position. No one talks about it. And I'm like, right. I'm like yeah, it fucking right. is. Everybody's always relying on my ass to fucking get the goddamn tickets. And everything. I'm more than willing to go to things as long as I don't actually have to yeah, put I in know. any effort, effort to do yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm not driving either. I'm not driving. I'm happy. I don't. You always drive. As, as I say many times, I'm happy to take the burden of driving, but the man, the act of logistics and getting the ticket, I'm not a good planner, dude. I'm not a good planner yeah, yeah. one bet, dude. That shit stresses me Well, you me end up with fucking out, Swanson with the tickets and the goddamn cluster <laughs> fucks. So that's, that's half the reason fucking uh, I get the tickets. I'm like, I know we got them and I'm fucking not going to fuck up this goddamn situation. Indeed. indeed. At least you know you're not a good planner, okay? Yeah, I got a yeah, buddy yeah. that uh, he thinks he can plan everything and it always gets fucked up. Uh, you got to know your limitations, Shout out man, to Chris. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. God bless him for trying, though. You know, really There's 20 the people going up to the UP next week and he's got two pounds of hamburger and Four hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. That's basically my. As long as you got a couple right. dirty thirties of that BL, dude. Little BL smooth. I got a backpack, of Cliff Bar, and combos. <laughs> 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 a couple of days will be all set. Have <laughs> one bottle of Gatorade. We'll be fine. That's all right. A lot of water up there you can drink. No, it's the way um, to do it. But I did get into an argument with, uh, I think it was a coworker about boy bands. And I don't, I don't know maybe where you guys said on this. And she, I'm like, well, she's like, I hate boy bands. I'm like, then she starts listening to Boys to Men. I'm like, that was like one of the first boy yeah, bands, right? Really cool. Quintessential like, boy bands. It's literally, literally in the name. Boys yeah. to men. <laughs> she's like, no, it's not. I'm like, oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. 100% a boy band. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I get where she's coming from, right? Like, right. you think boy bland, you think poppy and everything. Right. That's kind of like Motown flair, but... Yeah, all it's the, a boy band. It's a boy I mean, band. yeah, those are the groups that started that whole thing. There was a bunch of those fucking groups. The fucking like, I don't know, R and B, black dudes singing harmonies. You know, fucking boys to men being the biggest right. of them. You know, fucking started all that shit. And that boys to men are fucking good. Dude. Oh yeah, like <laughs> yeah, those no. dudes can sing, man. I love those. I love me some fucking some in sync. In sync, huge baby. fucking in sync fan. They're by the way, you catching this back together? In sync, new song. Yeah. On the, oh on shit! The oh, I didn't hear the new the, song. Yet. I haven't. Heard, I don't think it's out yet. But there's they got a new song on the Trolls Two movie soundtrack, which is just That's Timberlake. Well played. You gotta have it. He's like you know a producer and voice actor in that yep. sort of. Is AJ back on the sauce yet? That's the other guy. That's the other band, and yes, he is. <laughs> All right, cool. uh, I'm not sure he ever got off. God yeah. bless him. Dude. <laughs> Some fucking Backstreet Boys. That's the other fucking. Yeah. That when people think of boy bands, they think of Backstreet Boys and In Sync and 98 Degrees and that era. But right. you are 100 percent correct. O Town, like, don't sleep on O Town. They that, like Shout out O Town. All these lower <laughs> ones, you know, they're just the worst. Oh Jesus. So uh, yeah. No. So <laughs> being a uh, being a fruit port guy, I'm sure you're familiar with Bill, er, Burger Crest. Shout out Burger Crest. I am, yeah. So yeah. high school, they used to have you know those machines where you put a quarter in, do the mm-hmm. little twisty yeah. thing, you get whatever out of there. They used to have in sync stickers in there, and yeah. Burger Crest was our joint for high school. We go there for lunch, get off site for a Breakfast, little bit, do our thing. Dinner. And like that was our shtick was we'd go there and get these in sync stickers and fucking put them up in our lockers in our oh, yeah. car and shit. Yep. So we had our buddy and he had like two twelves in the back, you know, big ass system, in sync stickers all cavalier. across the back window. <laughs> dude. We crank that shit and just go rolling out of the parking lot, yeah. fucking blasting in sync and doing the whole thing. Good times, dude. That was like good songs, man. A couple of those records are fucking, they're actually really good. Going as in sync would be a tremendous look for Halloween. Ooh, yeah. after That's a tough one. With the Timberlake it bleach blonde. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't Ju- think I got four friends that'll fucking work with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a hard, <laughs> that's a hard one. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got Joey Fat one. I could yeah. do 98 Degrees North, but that's <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell that band is. Lance Bass. Uh, I saw Justin Timberlake live. It was Joe's. Timberlake throws yeah, down. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. Where was that at? It was at the Van Andel. Okay. Yeah. The, his last record sucked balls, I'm not going to lie to you. Indeed. <laughs> it was terrible. I didn't but, catch that one. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I did, because I've been a pretty big fan through the years. Uh, no, it was not good. It was not good. I, I don't know. I also listened to a lot of 
fucking 90s chick music. Fucking Alanis Morissette. Uh, That's how oh, yeah, I want yeah, dude. Well, jagged, jagged I'd still little hit shit. I like Sarah McLaughlin. You know Ooh, Sarah McLaughlin? I do. Yeah. I do. Talk about building a mystery, boys. That's a fucking <laughs> yep. great song, man. That is a good tune. Yeah, it really I can no is. longer it listen is. to Sarah yep. McLaughlin because now it's forever associated yeah. with beaten and yeah, the pet fucking uh, you know, thing. Yeah. yeah. Horribly massacred well, That's dogs. from that it's record, though. Tragic. The Arms of the Angels. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, yeah. from that same record, I think. It's also she, the same song that I have strippers to uh, dance <laughs> 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 He's doing a lap dance, getting a laugh in the back of the booth. Of the angels. <laughs> if she ain't crying, she ain't yeah, getting right. paid. That's right. That's right. We were just talking about fucking uh, the Bloodhound Gang. You know the oh, Bloodhound yes, Gang. I do. It, yep. Well, he's got that's that song. A lap dance is always yep. better when the strippers cry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I like some of that fucking shit too. I mean, a lot most '90s stuff. I mean, that yeah. was that was my fucking era for sure. But yeah, uh, Sarah McLaughlin, fucking. Uh, uh, you know, Lisa Loeb. Lisa Loeb. Yeah. She still looks good, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. That was a good song. I really liked that song. There was a lot of great uh, female artists in the fucking 90s, dude. Those alternative chicks, yep. dude. They were throwing down. I like a lot of the trashy, like, 90s female dance stuff, dude. Like, one of the uh, confessions I never got to was, you remember Cher, Love After Love? Yeah, Life After Love. Life or, After Love, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking the, that was the that. Song, original the auto-tune, auto-tune. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Still love that goddamn song. Not ashamed to admit it. That's a good song. Yeah, a little That's bit ashamed to admit it. Yeah, you should be. You yeah. should be. Not great. Not great. Yeah, but I, like I said, I I don't know. You throw something on in a house party or whatever. If right, you get, you right. Know, we don't have those anymore, but whatever you call it. Cheese and platter party, whatever. <laughs> or charcuterie. Bo- uh, charcuterie <laughs> fucking class or whatever. Yeah. I listen to pretty much everything. It's right just, on. Uh, I had a few things that I... I listen to constantly. It's like, I'll get into a loop. I'll listen to the same song fucking 17 times in a row. Yeah. My coworkers, can you shut that off? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, too yeah, early yeah. for corn. It's right. 7 30 <laughs> in the morning. No okay. Adidas before 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it's a hard exactly. and fast rule. <laughs> yep. You guys like uh, Blink 182? I'm, I'm not a big Blink guy. I'm, I'm not a big, a big Blink, Blink fan either. But listen they, to it a little bit back in the day. First album was all right. They, well, they got a right. new song out right now. So if you fucking follow the Blink-182 shit, homeboy quit Blink-182, went chasing UFOs for the last fucking 10 years or whatever, and is now back in Blink-182, and they got a new record out. Everybody's fucking going crazy about, you know, fanboying out about it and whatever. Uh, and I listened to the song today. I caught the video. It just dropped like today or yesterday. So I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. It's already got 3 million views or whatever, you know. It's not good. I didn't no. care for it. I, it <laughs> like, I get, the song is cool. The sentiment of the song is about like those guys like getting back together and like missing your homies and everything. But it is like, again, like it's so auto-tuned. I'm like, why are you doing this? Like you guys are good singers. Like it's fine. You don't have to do this. Like it just sounds bad. And it just like kills me. There's no place for auto It's just getting those sad. Guys, yeah, really, <laughs> really. Know? I'm just kind of like, all right, guys. Like you guys are fucking professionals. Been doing it for 25 right. years or whatever. Like you can't do a song without like, and it, like you need to tune up your vocals a little bit. All right, no shade, but like it's like, just <laughs> like what the fuck? Like there's no. Am I the only one hearing this? I'm like, this is egregious. It sounds like shit. Ugh. What are you guys doing? No good. It's no good. No. So anyway, Tom DeLong solving the UFO mystery as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to DeLong Jordan. Stinks. I couldn't hate on DeLong any harder. Indeed. If Blink-182 is coming back, are they making another American Pie? Oh, God, dude, it is One only a hope, matter dude. of time. How have they not done that already with the fucking, like, Hollywood fucking <laughs> right. churn fest of rebooting everything <laughs> rebooting and everything. bringing back shit. We'll bring back the cast. I, I am truly surprised that has not happened. Bringing back Jason Biggs. Well, they've got a Stifler. bunch of terrible like spinoffs, like National yeah, Lampoon yeah. style, yeah, yeah. where it's like American Pie, yeah. Girls Rules, you that, know, and all the you know, all these B movies. Yeah, Stifler, Stifler goes to camp. <laughs> <laughs> the original American Pie has got to be it's one of the movie. ten funniest movies. Movies probably ever made. And it's second one was pretty hilarious. solid. Even the third one was, solid, one was yeah. pretty decent. I agree. Yeah. Uh, fucking written by a fucking homeboy from right here in East Grand Rapids. That's what it's about. I don't know shit. Yeah, they're in that hot dog place. It's yesterday. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they oh, yeah, shot yeah, a bunch yeah, of it yeah, in yeah, uh, Grand, Grand Haven. Haven. Yep. Yeah, the second one or whatever. 
Yeah, it's like it's called like East Great Falls or some shit, but yeah, it's, it's yeah. in Grand Rapids. Yeah. Just throwing it down, called DCR, dude. Represent, yeah, for real. <laughs> represent. Get into the uh, podcast equivalent of crowd work section of the, uh, the episode, <laughs> right? So where are you from? Man? <laughs> <laughs> No, crowd work's fun though. Yeah, yeah, especially if you get some people into it. You know, but, you know, hecklers are uh, interesting. It, hecklers aren't bad, but it's the people that just want to talk over everything. Yeah, you know that's what annoying. I mean. Like, yeah, do you get a group of people out there? You know, it's like, oh, I haven't seen you in twenty years. Well, why the fuck did you come here? Today? Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah, let's yeah, go to a comedy good. show. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> indeed. So, question I've always had, crowd work wise, for hecklers specifically. Is that like a lot of pre-cooked material? Like, are you thinking, okay, if a fat guy is breaking my balls, I do this, if, you know, like that type of thing? Is it on the fly? Or like, how do people generally operate with that? So I just go off of, you know, the vibe I'm getting from him, you know, yeah. biker dude, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, all right, he's going to kick my ass later, but I'm going to come up with something, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, and I, I get to my shows pretty early and it's like, all right, I'll walk the room and see what's going on and just kind of, hey, you know all right, this guy's going to be a problem, I can tell already, or this girl's been right. sitting here since noon. Yeah. You know? I think that, uh, like, the pros, it, it kind of builds up, so it's kind of both. It's like you kind of have these, like, pre- come back I feel like you'd almost have to yeah, you know? right, yeah. it's always kind of going to be kind of the same, the same eventually like yeah. you've seen it before yeah, and right. like even if it's like oh I should have said this but now you got that in the queue it's for the next time yeah. you know? yep. that's, yeah. Uh, yeah that's a big part of it is you, you know you learn you know it's like okay you're at a VFW and there's a bunch of old people yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why your kids don't visit you anymore <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? yeah. come on yeah, it, no, crowd work is fun. Even just if you, if it's not, if it's just riffing on somebody, you know, and these, somebody up front, you know, I got a couple of regulars that come to all the shows at Pincrest. It's like, all right, dude, you're going to get it tonight. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah, like, right, right, yeah I'm right. ready, you know? Yeah, yeah. But is it more, like, is it more comfortable when you're performing in front of people that you've seen there a bunch of times, or is it weirder when you see kind of the same face over and over? It depends. Um, it depends on who's doing the show, too. You know, who's who's on the lineup that I know. It's like, all right, this guy's going to like this dude. He's going to be really in, into him, or, okay, yeah, you're you're in for a treat, buddy, because, right. uh, yeah. But, no, it's, uh, it, it's nice to see the same people there. Um, it just forces me to write new shit you know right. you know? yeah 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 <laughs> or move some stuff around yeah and, you know, i get feedback from them too it's like oh hey you did the same set yeah three months ago but you move some stuff around and it yeah. works out better it's like, right 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 you know and, and i hang out there all the time anyways so it's like okay you know i'll run into them on a non-comedy night and it's like all right you know, get a little feedback from yeah. the same people that go there. And it's like, oh, man, I really like this guy. Or, you know, hey, she was good. You can get a have, right. her, have her come back, you know. Nice. Like uh, Floyd and Skippy, they, they'll they'll come probably two, three times a year just because they really like them down in Fruitport. So. Yeah. That's what they're saying. You know, and, and uh, Cam Honeyager, he's he, he's down in Chicago now, but he's Grand Rapids guy. So I, I get him coming up. uh here pretty soon um but yeah it's it's it, i like just seeing just seeing people there and new people you know it's like i'm always you know try to be respectful before the show i'm like hey just so you know there's a comedy show because some people when they walk in they don't know what the hell's going on right that, oh, that's, that's like, coming into, yeah, yeah they're have coming in to have a order. drink or go on a tinder date and it's like this probably isn't the spot for you guys if you want to sit and talk you know but i'm gonna you know you get too loud i'm gonna just gonna ask you to leave yeah you know so, but yeah, most of the time it's pretty respect, respectful. Uh, I do some Sunday shows. I'll try a Sunday show every once in a while. And it always goes to shit. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, Is yeah. It at night or like afternoon? Or it's like six o'clock in the yeah. afternoon, you know, day Dinner drinkers, kind of thing or day yeah. drinkers. Yeah. Gotcha. And it's always a new spot, uh, you know. Pincrest and the other places, I got a pretty set schedule for that. But it's like, oh, hey, we want to try something. Okay, when do you have available dates? Oh, Sunday. I'm like, fuck. You're right, yeah. All right, fine. We'll do a Sunday. If you're in there well, drinking on Sunday, you're a dedicated. <laughs> 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 
cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no shade. I'm just saying. <laughs> you, know. you are too. I mean, yeah. I yeah, hope to be that guy in the very near future. In the very near the future, future right? day drinking Hanging by yourself in the bar. Baby. Yep. Yeah. Not far off. Not far off. Three o'clock Sunday afternoon. Hit up Booyahs for breakfast and then go to Penn <laughs> and then drop by the Eagles for last call. Yeah, that's usually a... Nice. Ooh. I feel like the last line of demarcation into true degeneracy is like hitting up the breakfast buffet at a strip club. Dude. Yeah. If you're getting after oh, that, Jesus some fucking, Christ. getting that, that, that breakfast yeah. at the strip club, getting that fucking day drink on, that's kind of <laughs> that's, last... Yeah. That's scary. No, I don't want to get there. I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not too far from it, but I can't go to Stars or Murphy's as it was back when. You know, I can't. I can't do that. Is Murphy I mean, still there? Or is that it, Stars? It's stars now, now okay. and they still have the Odyssey, which is the uh, Odyssey. Shout out to the, the old, old baby, yeah, old. Old Odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> I never yeah. set foot in Murphy's. I think we went to the O that one time for maybe somebody's. <laughs> Party Went there for a bachelor, bachelor party, party. Yeah. Right in the private room. Yeah. They let you bring your own, own booze bring your own in there. Oh, yes. Shout wow. out to Dick, Richard yep. Bergala. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't <laughs> know that shit out there. Or if that's that legal, but God fucking legal. bless him for letting us do that. Oh, that, was a, a, that was a hell of a night. I wasn't there for that. We, I was there for Woo. just one other thing. One, I don't even know. Somebody's. I feel like I was there for a birthday party one time. Who goes to a birthday party? <laughs> yeah, it must it was, have been 18. I yeah, hope. it was God. just a bunch of degenerate He's 55. Degenerate guy assholes, you know, with. whatever. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, yeah, we did that, too. We rented out the room for a bachelor party for my buddy, and it's like, all right, cool. Oh, that was great fun, that dude. Was and so we much went, fun. There was, uh, it's since been outlawed, but we had a buddy who was a liquor rep, right? Yep. And he's got this case of shit, and he's wheeling that around, all these sample bottles. So we had a pretty good time. And at the time, this whipped cream booze stuff was legal. Do you remember I that remember shit? I remember that, dude? yes. And that stuff in a strip club is just a match made it's, in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a match made in heaven. What, it's illegal now or something? What are you saying? Yeah, the, you the can't buy it. Anymore, yeah. What the fuck? I don't know exactly why, but like a handful of that that was right. like back in the four loco days. Four locos, you know, yep. Back when it was the wild the west, you know. Damn. It was energy drinks and alcohol. Oh, I don't know nothing about that whipped cream shit neither. No, that was uh yeah, that wasn't out for very long. No, no. no. Thankfully, uh, <laughs> yeah, we had a nice little cache of that stuff when we were there. Man. Shit. It very much worked out to our benefit in a lot of ways. I don't know why that would be illegal. It seems like the best fucking invention ever. Indeed it was. I think it's something with uh, it's just like it almost tasted too good and then got you real uh, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds like well, I hope they don't outlaw Bush Lake because this yeah. is two days ago. <laughs> no, no, real nice. Bush is here to stay. Dude. <laughs> and shout out to Bush for the Bush commercials and the Bush oh, yes. spokesman guy they had. Yeah, that shit's just great. They're so on point, man. I fucking love those commercials. They really nailed Fantastic. that marketing down. Yeah, they did. Well, I don't know the new. Is there new Bush commercials? I don't know that shit. Beer commercials used to be the pinnacle of comedy, dude. Oh, right. yeah. The Budweiser, Budweiser, Budweiser Frogs. Budweiser Frogs, yeah, dude, baby. Yeah. Still hilarious. Oh, yeah. Fucking, there was so much to fucking what's up, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Fucking, uh, man, there's tons <laughs> of shit, dude. Budweiser had the beer marketing game on lock back in the day. Dude. Just universal bangers of yes. those commercials. Dude, they're so good. No, not so much. No, no. We're going to drop the ball on that one. <laughs> Oof. That didn't do your marketing any good. You don't talk about knowing your audience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not great, not great. Yeah, yeah man. No. Fucking beer commercials were always the best, though, for sure. Hell yeah. Have no. you ever seen any shit go real sideways? So, what, like, as a booker, you're dealing with comedians. Comedians seem like a wild bunch or some wild boys, to be sure. Like, shit ever really go off the rails? A uh, couple times. Um,. But normally not the comic's fault. It's 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 the owner didn't like a certain joke and it sent somebody over the edge mm. or, you know, that kind of thing or just being loud and disrespectful. It's like, okay, guys, come on. Grow the fuck up. You're at a comedy show. You know there's a comedy show going on. Right, I make yeah. the announcement. You got time to finish your drink and leave if you don't like it. Right. Um, you know, uh, a couple of open mics I've seen go real bad. Uh, not so much on my shows, just because I, you know, I do enough advertising and stuff before the show that I would say ninety percent of the people know what they're, you know getting, what they're into, getting into. Yeah. You know, but 
every once in a while it's like you know somebody thinks they're even if the comic's not doing that well and you think you're going to make the show better you're not right you know that's that's a good thing that somebody could take out of this is you're not making the show better yeah you know and i i have a lot of family that comes in and checks it out and they oh, oh you can i'm gonna do that no just shut the hell up right yeah I mean, no yeah you know the 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 drunk <laughs> i mean we talk about it, every comic the drunk person in the bar that's wants to be loud and you know yeah it, we have a few people in Fruitport that uh, have a lot of money. It's like, <laughs> okay, you're here. You're going to be loud. And I just tell, I go, hey, he's going to be loud and it's going to be interesting, but he's going to be throwing a $500 uh, bill on that tip jar at the end of the night if, right. he, if he likes you, you know what I mean? So, I mean, and that's a little bit pandering in too. Fruitport? But, Where, who is yeah, this? <laughs> I can't name names. It's a much but. different demographic <laughs> than I remember growing up there. Yeah. Well, there's a couple of them in there still, you know. But, uh, yeah, so I, I've seen some things go kind of sideways, but most of the comics can get their, get it together and finish up or wrap up or, you know. Yeah. The new the new people, some new comics that just, you know, get uncomfortable. It's like, that's part of the gig, yeah. you know. I've been up yeah. there on stage and, you know, said some new stuff that, you know, just doesn't really hit you right. know it's like okay scratch that but yeah not too much things go i haven't seen too many things go crazy sideways where there's a freaking brawl or anything like that so but. how like owner wise you mentioned that sometimes they'll not be fans of jokes like are there people that are pretty stringent like i mean i got to imagine a handful of the comedians have some like off color dirty shit is that like not how does that go over these days in general like i know it's kind of a new culture you think fucking even 10 years ago you know shit was this off the rails and kind of anything goes right. like are people real touchy about that do people kind of like, it kind of depends on the comic i've seen some some of them do very well with the same person that didn't like the joke on the first comic or whatever it just you know it, it's all about where you're coming from and if that person that doesn't like that doesn't get where you're coming from or you don't uh, project that when you're when you're doing your your set it, it can go pretty bad but the owners are typically they know what what's going on they're 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 happier or they're not there and they don't give a shit right you yeah. know they're putting you're putting people in the seats Ass you in know the seats and drinks and, and hands. drinks and hands yeah, you know yeah. and uh that, that's another thing i mean people don't go out to the bars like they used to anymore you know if they got they get a live band yeah they'll come out and hang out for an hour or so and if there ain't nothing going on it's the same six seven twelve people in the bar that's there every day yeah you know you don't mm. see the big bar nights like uh like you used to anymore i mean in my perspective anyways yeah it, so, why you think because of covid or something or like after that or? i think it was before that i think just i mean let's be honest you're gonna sit there and get loaded all day you got a lot of things to think about on your way home you know what i mean um but yeah i i don't know i think just uh people don't go out anymore you know i talked to a couple of buddies it's like hey man where's where's all the girls at they're like they're nice. sitting at home yeah because so they were watching netflix watching basically netflix like, and yeah not like, kind of a with consistent me. thing yeah. with everything you know right. like people right. aren't going to movie theaters exactly. they're not going yeah. to live sporting events because you got a big 60 inch fucking screen and yeah you know essentially free beer in right. the fridge so right. i'm gonna go and exactly drive and three yeah. hours round trip and drop a hundred bucks for two beers and, exactly mm. and then risk getting pulled over and there's another 10 well there you go yeah that's a huge part of it for sure but uh yeah I, I mean if they've got something that they look forward to every month hey we'd, we're gonna do this this is our date night or whatever and that's what a lot of people do with you know pincrest or naughties it's like hey we, we look forward to coming out here yeah you know and when we first did a couple shows it's like we can do this every week i'm like mm, no you can't it's just gonna water everything down yeah. you know, once a month give somebody to look give those people that don't get out here very often something to look forward to and that that seems to work out pretty well for me and yeah. you know most of the other guys that are running shows do that as well you know like a like a paid spot or paid gigs you know those go once a month uh i know a lot of people there's a couple of them in kalamazoo that are really starting to pop off too so um yeah it's, it's uh you know the open mics are fun and i, I like doing those but you know, to run one every week at the same place in Muskegon would just you yeah, <laughs> it'd be, it'd yeah, be me yeah. and you sitting here watching it. You know, yeah, yeah. 
but well, there's yeah. something to be said for scarcity across the board right, right. like to your sure. point if it's an event and a thing to go to right. like a destination mm. and it feels like a special deal that's exactly. different than like hey we can go there next week you right. know like yeah. there's no urgency if yeah. it's happening all the time if you yeah if you don't miss it you can catch it now, next week or whatever but yeah i mean i don't know there's a lot of people that do do the weekly shows here in gr and the, you know that's that's their thing and it's great for us to get out there and get on stage and do that stuff but i mean as a as somebody who's trying to hey put put asses in seats and drinks in hand we right, gotta do this right, once right. a month not, yeah not every week it just doesn't work out that way yeah i get it. it's like a, it's almost like a as a promoter it's one thing but then as a comic you're trying to get as much stage time as you can right so there's like this weird like I don't know, duplicity or something yeah. of like <laughs> there's good stage time and there's bad stage time too. I mean, uh, not bad stage time, but like, you know, you, you do your set that it does good in front of, you know, 30, 40 people and you do it in front of the same seven comics that heard your shit. Yeah. Every yeah, time. That's it's not like, helping. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I was doing on Stop that one. I've heard this one yeah, before. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? yeah so when like everybody the... gets up from the table and walks outside, it's right. like, shit. shit. That's why those dudes <laughs> in New York, they're trying to do all those spots, you know, like, but the, right. that's constantly a different crowd in those exactly. places always. So you always, always have fresh people to exactly. work your shit out in front exactly. of. Exactly. But yeah, if you're doing fucking, uh, you know, small towns or whatever, it's the same 10 people. So same they, 10 people. They've already heard it, so yep. you're not getting a real reaction. Exactly. Of like, they have they're heard tuned this? out, or yeah, you know, my, yeah. just beating the same dead horse that Brendan <laughs> exactly. Fraser jokes yeah. all yeah, the time. Lizzo yeah. jokes, yeah. Lizzo tons jokes, of Lizzo yeah. jokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is uh, Shakespeare still going in Kalamazoo? I don't think so. I know that there was talk about doing it again, but I think that might be like a kind of like a every once a month or a couple of times every year. I'm not sure exactly what's going on down there. Yeah, because they have that little joint in the basement down there yeah, that whatever. was starting to get. It was Shakespeare's. Yeah, I, used to I forget what they were down there. called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we used to drink at Shakespeare's a lot. <laughs> yep. uh, what the, I can't remember the name of the actual comedy I know, club. Was space, the bottom, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I back. do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there was, uh, there's one in Saga Tuck too. Uh, hit a little comedy club downstairs. And nice. I don't nice. quite remember what that was called, but I don't know what they're doing. Um, COVID killed a lot of the little yeah, spots I'm like sure. that. You know? Yeah, I mean, shit, that it's sucks. been four years since I think Back Alley's opened up again, so that's that's nice. It's going to be a good spot in Muskegon. Uh, at Sherman? At Sherman, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Ricardo Williams is running that. Or Winston, I'm sorry, but yeah, he does a great job. Uh, I'll, I mean, if for ten bucks you can see some really good comics, yeah, you know? and yeah. then, then that's that's what it's about. People got to get out and laugh right now. I mean, yeah, yeah. for sure. It, you know, even if it's not your t- cup of tea, go out and support some of this stuff because it's, it's most it's worth comics it. are funny I, in a live setting. Like I, I've always said, like you, here in town, and you know it's a Grand Rapids or whatever. But you can go to Doctor Grins. I don't care who's playing. Right there, it's going to be ninety percent funny. Exactly. It's not maybe not the funniest thing you've ever heard or whatever, but like it's going to be pretty funny. Right. You know, so like you know, getting out and going. Like I've never had a bad time at Doctor no. Grins or something like that. Like every time, it's like this is pretty fucking funny. You know. Right, and even even the open mics. I mean. These guys know what they're doing. Yeah, it's it's new or, you know, you didn't laugh at every single joke, but there's 10 comics there. Nine of them are going to make you laugh. Yeah. Might, you know, so it's, it's just like I said, I like just getting out there and making people laugh. I think it's important. Um, and just to get get people from the west side over here or the east side over here. And and vice versa, you know, it's it's yeah. down to Chicago or coming up from Chicago because it, it, that market's saturated too. You know, you don't yeah. have that that small time kind of. You're in Fruitport, okay? Yeah, it's not the biggest venue, but these people are here to laugh. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or you're in Muskegon at yeah. Naughty's. It's like, yeah. okay. It's Muskegon. I mean, we fuck right. around about Fruitport, but it's all Muskegon. It's all you Muskegon, know? Yeah. right. Muskegon's, you know. Muskegon, you know, it's not a small town, really. It's a, it's a spread out town. There's a lot of people in West right. Michigan. You exactly. Know? So. But yeah, it's it's been a... Like I said, it's been an interesting road, and there's a long road for me. And just getting yeah. more, more venues, more... I got comics just wanting to get on these shows, which is great, and I'm yeah. happy. 
but I just need more venues to do it, you know. Right, right, right. Some stuff during the week is what I'm looking for, you know, gotcha. like uh, Wednesday night or something, you know. Not too late. The ten thirty, the eleven o'clock open mics. Yeah, yeah I'm that, over that that's shit. What I'm talking, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. Yeah, shit. it's too much, and nobody was coming to that. You no. Know, like, yeah. yeah. But, but I don't know, dude. It sounds to me like you're kind of killing it out there, from what I'm hearing. I mean, as far as like, you know, it sounds like you're kind of creating a scene. Yeah. And fucking, that's badass, dude. I mean, Muskegon. Muskegon's a lot of things. We could talk a lot about <laughs> yes, Muskegon, we could. you know. Yes, we and, could. And uh, yeah. I think it's badass that you're fucking out there doing it there. Uh, it's badass that Sherman's doing their thing yep. there. I've always liked that bowling ale. We used to bowl there a lot, right. and like I said, we used to play gigs there all the time. So oh, that's yeah. fucking cool as shit. Uh, it sounds like you know, like Floyd and Skippy are fucking. We're yep. preaching your fucking praises and everything there. So yeah. shout out to them. So for sure, shout yeah. out to Fresh Ghost Comedy. These those guys do a lot. Tim Locke does a lot over in Muskegon. Nice. nice. Carlo Winston with RJN Comedy. Um, Save the Lake Small for me. That's where you'll find all my stuff. I didn't get into a whole lot of um, like websites yet, just because uh, just going through that divorce, I didn't want to have to take half of that too. I'm so. starting fucking destroy the lake small <laughs> dot com, dude. No man, <laughs> no. You got to check it out. There's some good shit on there. So yeah, know. man. Well, fucking uh, you know, appreciate it. I'm, we're, we've been trying to get out there. The problem is a lot of it's happening when we're doing this show. So right. every time we're like, oh, even when like they were playing, we're like, oh, we should go. And, ah, we can't fucking go. We got some fucking right. guests or whatever. So I uh, don't think we're not fucking. And, no, uh, not no, interested no. or whatever so it's yeah it's pretty cool so uh Good deal. yeah man yeah. keep us posted on what the fuck's going on I will, and for uh, sure shout out to some fucking comics dude fucking yeah. we're trying to book more comment uh, comics on this show so i, fucking, uh, I will i'm gonna reach know, out to a couple of them that i know let them know so. spread the word a little bit so hell yeah yeah man so fucking uh you got dates coming up then you want to shout I out i do i have uh october 14th at uh the polish union um, October 13th at Naughties, October nice. 27th and, at Pincrest, and yeah, Save the Lake Small uh, Facebook group has got all the other dates that are coming up. Um, nice, nice. I think that's about it for right now. And, you can oh. reach me at destroythelakesmall.com. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to do itself. It's just going to implode. It really itself. is. We're going to be okay. It's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, man. Father Time's going to take care of that yeah. one soon. Just like the dude. racetrack next <laughs> door. It's just going to disintegrate it on itself. It. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well, well fucking, right. Uh, you seem like a fucking funny motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, go catch this guy live if you can, any of the shows he's putting on, motherfuckers. So thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, appreciate thanks for having me, guys. Meeting, I appreciate dude. it. Yeah, well, we'll have you back, dude. We'll All have right, you back cool. for sure. Good deal. All right, peace out, motherfucker. Peace. <laughs>